Guys, welcome back to Spooky Tuesday, a weekly podcast where we're breaking down all of our favorite slashers, thrillers, monster movies, and black comedies on the new scariest day of the week. I'm Sydney Thompson. I'm Monica Hyde. <laughs> and I'm Chelsea Duff. And this week we have breaking news. <gasps> Want to know what the breaking news is? Yes. It's I know what you did last summer. <laughs> summer. I still You'll know, know what, what you, you did, did last summer. Summer. <laughs> summer. <laughs> <laughs> We should be shot. <laughs> the breaking news Not is me. we are t- a troublesome twosome, and we're here together in person. <laughs> Chelsea's the good girl of the pod. Yeah. Wait, actually, I'm gonna confr- wait, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm <laughs> confronting you guys on camera right now. Oh, oh my okay. god! Oh, no. I don't know if you've done anything, but that's why I'm confronting you. Okay. We did a poll for our Disturbia episode that said who most deserves to be on house arrest, and I'm winning right now. <laughs> did you? Did you collude? No, I literally have, now that I passed on you doing the poll question thing, I don't look at it at all anymore. And I looked at it today and I was like, no votes for me going to jail? I am shocked. It's not going to jail. It's house arrest. Okay, but still. That's the point. They are basically, though, what they're saying is that I've never done anything wrong in my entire life. And that's why I shouldn't go to house arrest. I don't think that's Wait, what were mine? You got one vote and I got two votes. Yeah. Which was not that many. (laughs) I have faith that by the time the poll closes in November, (laughs) um, (laughs) that things will be set right. I don't think so. I think Chelsea, bad girl of the pod now. <laughs> Chelsea, to be bad clear, girl. I would thrive on house arrest. Ooh, she actually would. I would thrive. Bad girl. <laughs> that's why they haven't voted for me because they know I'd lose my mind in five seconds. I think if I was on house arrest and didn't have anything to actually do, it would be very bad. And so they don't want me on house arrest. That's think like about how you're... much diarrhea you would get from all the oh my God. food concoction. I would have so much diarrhea. <laughs> I did say you're straight to jail. That's what I was maintaining that episode. Mm. I said you'd be jail. on house arrest. Chelsea innocent. So I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we got to trust the people here. And they're saying I'm the innocent one. Ooh. I'm overthrowing the Capitol. Wow. Oh, no. See, that's why you're going to house arrest. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh. But anyway... It's back to I know what you did last summer. Summer. I still summer. know what you did last summer. Still She's know. getting house arrest for not saying it right. Yeah. Right. Vote, I still vote for her. Know. What you have to say? Still. Like, I still, still know. know what you did last summer. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is what it is. We're doing. I still know what you did last summer, and this is I know what you did last summer. You're supposed to all say it at the same time. Oh, okay. Let's you didn't repeat. Count us in. Yeah. I know. I thought you'd figure it out. I thought you'd just figure it out. You love it when we do an in-person. Episode? Monica, we're delusional Don't right now. Start, start, start the whole working. thing over. Okay. I'm Sydney Thompson. <laughs> Sydney Thompson. Oh my god, there's two Sydney Thompsons? That's crazy. They're both blonde, so it what? must be right. I've called Chelsea Sydney 45 times because she's blonde now. It's I can't figure it out. It's really confusing. We look exactly the same. It makes sense. You do look exactly the Twins. same. Twins. Okay, are you ready to do it right this okay. time? Yeah. Okay, we're doing I still know what you did last summer because this is I know what you did last summer. summer. <laughs> we got a thumbs up. Yeah. From God. That means we did it right. That we did it, we right. did it right. Honestly, like, crush it, slide it. Honestly, I feel really confident Slay about boots that. Slay boots house down. It was really good. But anyway, you're introducing this one. Sorry. Yeah. So if you don't know what we're doing, it's I still know what you did last summer. <laughs> and the IMDb logline is... The murderous fisherman with a hook is back to once again stalk the two surviving teens, Julie and Ray, who had left him for dead, as well as cause even more murder and mayhem, this time at a posh island resort. This is strangely it's, written. It's really poorly written, similarly <laughs> to the film. <laughs> I as this- well as cause even more murder and mayhem. <laughs> This time this at a posh <laughs> island resort. This could use a second look. Yes. <laughs> really. <laughs> some edit. Where's the beta? Where's the beta editor? I also don't know that I would say that they left him for dead so much as he was gone other than the They hand. couldn't find him. 100%. It would have been very hard to not, I, I guess, technically, Lost left him for sea. dead. Lost mm. at sea, you know. 
But as we know, we, as horror movie fans, you can't trust that someone's dead unless you see their body decapitated or like with 15,000 bullets just specifically in the brain. Yeah. You know, everybody so, knows you got to hit him in the head. Exactly. So he, all he did was lose a hand, you know, survivable. You could yeah, survive that's that. survivable. survivable. Yeah, he didn't even fall that far. I would say losing a hand, hand in the sea is dangerous because there's sharks, sharks out there and they're gonna smell the blood. But, as but I don't know. know the Atlantic waters. I don't. I don't know. We had a marine biologist. <laughs> list. The waters came out really weird, and <laughs> I just leaned in. The Atlantic <laughs> waters. The Atlantic waters. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Miss Transatlantic accent. <laughs> we That's covered me, Maxine a few weeks ago, the and now we have so, accents. Yeah. <laughs> The accent work is being done. Accent work. Thank God mm. someone needs to be doing the accent work. Um, but I really remembered this movie being, like, incredible. Oh, did you? Me too. That's weird. Yeah, no, I, have... I know. It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I also remember this movie being I think oh, we, like, incredible. really good. Like, yeah, whoa. Like, like whoa. Holy shit. It's, like, funny but, like, smart. And it's like really scary. What things. happened? Some we watched things. this with our spooky crew a thousand years ago, yeah. pre podcast. I think that's the last time I watched it. Maybe the only time I ever watched it. That's the only time it. I've ever watched it. Yeah. I watched this a bunch growing up, obviously. But I also remembered it being way better. Maybe it's just one of those ones where it's it's fun with friends. I think that I still had fun because you guys are my friends. Um, so That's we just nice. watched it together. And we were really all nice. really anxious. We were really Not anxious. Me. I was fine. Oh, I was really anxious. Sydney and I were anxious because we were really hungry and sushi stopped getting called out right now. Oh, my they God. It took like an hour and a half busy to bring over there. us there. I literally lost my hearing. I was so anxious. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> We were having a really tough time. Sometimes. A lot's been going on today. Sometimes. Okay. I'm like, sorry. Take a, take a peek here. She was so, right. I'm a doctor, so yeah. Paging Dr. Oh, Beat. Emergency. 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 This hair is getting stuff. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Don't worry. Just as many people, I guess, didn't like the first one because they thought it was some ripping off. This movie felt like. A scary movie, movie a lot of the time, like scary movie the well, franchise. Was that because discussed? Yeah, Jack Black was there. <laughs> Jack Black in is dreadlocks. there with white people dreads. Yeah, yeah. I mean Jack Hawaiian Black shirt. really brought the like I lo- vibes. I love Jack Black and I want him to be in everything, but I would feel I feel like his presence in the film made it even hokier than it possibly. Could have I thought he before. brought some much needed tension relief. Yeah. I guess you're right. Mm. I guess you're right. But I thought really funny this time watching it. I realized how they quickly they retconned the ending of the first one. Which yeah. is smart and well done. I yes. actually thought. They were like, because the whole beginning, the opening scene is like Julie James actually having a nightmare, which is kind of a slay uh, nightmare, by the way. It really reminds me of that OG girls music video for Karma, the JoJo Siwa mm. song. Oh, yeah. But the OG version. Brit. Brit something. What? Listen to the OG version. Karma's okay. a bitch. The OG version slaps, in my better. opinion. And it has Timbaland on it. Brit and Smith. Brit Smith. Brit Smith. And in the music video for it, who's the pastor? Not the hook, man. Is like it, it is Timbaland? in this. It's fucking Timbaland. Timbaland Ooh, is Timbaland. the piss. P- the piss. The piss. <laughs> I'm His so play sorry. in for 2024. I'm so sorry, Timbaland. <laughs> it, we're recording this at at 9 p.m. It says 11:30 on Sydney's computer because it's still on Central Time. I'm delirious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, she has that sleigh nightmare. Honestly, her hair looks great in that nightmare. She looks so. Her great. hair looked great in the nightmare at the end of the last movie, as it turns out. Because that was kind of what they did, is they have this, like, confession scene in the beginning that turns out is a scary dream. And then she meets her nice, lovely, platonic, Aww. such a sweet, casual friend Bestie. guy, um, Will. And he's like, nightmare again. Do you have the shower one? Um, which is, as it turns out, what we saw at the end of the last movie. It'll be a yeah. one. I thought it was well done. It was well done. Yeah. Yeah. And once we were talking about it, it made sense because it was like her hair was so beautiful and she was about to get in the shower. Yeah. Why would she shower with hair like that? And you'd obviously try and keep insane. that hair. Yeah. yeah. You try to keep that hair lasting as long as you can take it. Yeah. yeah you it you have good. a good hair day. You're not showering. You're like, exactly. I'm keeping this bitch. <laughs> yeah. And pin also, it up at least and uh-huh. just do a body shower. Be reasonable. Right. And also, 
also that phone call with Ray was so like, everything is perfect between us, we're in love, and we've never faced any trials or tribulations in our relationship. Can't wait to flirt with you more, and ooh, have a sexy time. Ooh, la la, little flirties. Wink, yeah. wink. And then they bring it back in this movie, and they're like, actually, things are a little tough. Actually, things, things we're are struggling. Still a little, uh, you might have remembered there was trauma in this relationship, so. Do so, you remember how our two best friends were brutally murdered just a year ago? And they just tried to murder us, too, but then we accidentally murdered him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember how we, like, sort of brought it on ourselves because we, like, maybe killed a guy. Maybe. And left him for dead and threw him in the ocean. Allegedly. <laughs> If they had only done it right the first time, they never would have had to deal with this. Exactly. Wow. This would never Anthony have happened to us. Tip? No um, attempted murders, only completed murders. Exactly. Yes. yes. That's how you get an enemy. If exactly. you attempt to kill someone and they survive. And run back Make over sure you them. double tap them. Beep, beep. Do what Maxine did in X. This is why yeah. Monica should be on house arrest and not me. Do you hear what she's saying? You just said the exact hear, same thing. I reiterated what you said so it would be clear to the you listener. You sure. said the back over them thing. I That was that implied was me. in what you said. Okay, well, she, Chelsea also said it. So, anyway. <laughs> that was also me because Chelsea is you me. You can't get mad <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're both blondes. You don't know who's who. Who said it? I'm just going to ignore you both then. How about that? <laughs> it's going to be really tough to record this podcast episode if you're, record if you're ignoring both of us. I'll just go on a monologue and then you'll send to Sydney. Will, I see I did it again. Sydney will have to fix it in post. <laughs> um, well, but yeah, I, it was a good retcon. It's fine, whatever. I thought it was very stupid that they like sidelined Freddie Prince Jr. again in this movie. When he looked so sexy. He looked so sexy. Oh my when he's God. In Henley with the fucking flannel, flannel around, around his, his waist. <sighs> But also, why are you wearing sun? a long sleeve in July? Sun protection, babe. Still. He's on the boat. Still. It gets cold out there on the waters, perhaps. He doesn't want to become a leathery seaman. Mm. Has he said? <laughs> <laughs> leathery seaman. He doesn't want to become one. How do you like your men, leathery? <laughs> How do you like your seaman? Leathery. <laughs> so, we have a podcast, and this is what we say. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, I think... It is annoying if I drove. I don't know where she is compared to where he is from. Southport versus is he in Boston or yeah, Cambridge? I, Boston is what I feel like I remember from the first movie because he was going to be in New York. And so it's not New York. It's Boston in the book. I've read the book. Whoa. Whoa. Update from last. I, I know what you did last summer. summer. Bad news, though. I only got the 2005 version. So I got the Iraq war. Oh, version. No. They had cell phones. And uh, she had a webcast. You yeah. said. Oh. Yeah. What's her name? What's her name? Helen. Helen. Helen had a webcast instead of, I don't know, a nightly news report or something. She's a she drops out of high school to become a news reporter because she wins a contest. Just fun little details. I love that for Helen. Uh, yeah. She deserves that. The book actually comes into play with the plot of yeah. this one like a shit ton. I was thinking so about that. I'm really glad that I read it before this. I can't wait to hear. Yeah. Uh, I'll wait till later because I don't, I don't have to spoil the twist. That Say early. it right now. Not yet. I'm not ready. I have to formulate my thoughts. What were we talking about before this? Oh, um, I just, I don't understand why. He would just leave. They have one tiff. He just drove six hours. I don't know how far away things are from each other. And he just turned around and left right away. Freddie Prince Jr. That Ray. seems like a man thing to do. That does seem like a like, My feelings are hurt. Um, I'm going to go all the way home. Yeah, fuck you. He was literally there for four minutes. I know. Yeah, and she didn't immediately want to go on sexy vacation with me to murder town. Back to their hometown. Back to mm. trauma town. Yeah, come on, dude. Like... Why can't we go back to Trauma Town and pretend nothing ever happened? For I don't Fourth understand. Of July. Also, which is the anniversary of when Trauma happened. happened. Both it's, times. I Both know. Times. Both times. It's the anniversary. That's fucking stupid. Also, we find out a few moments later he was planning to fucking propose to her. 
Why? That what a weekend. romantic You're gonna propose date on the, the anniversary the of your so best many bad things death. happened on July Fourth for us that I just thought I'd give us something to celebrate, babe. A, s- a special chance. Let me take chance. you back to the scene of the crime and <laughs> propose my love to you. No, that's an automatic. I'm gonna no. do it on the cliff. To show you how far I'll go for you, babe, I'll throw a man overboard for your future. Monica, do you wish that Adam proposed to you on the anniversary of when <laughs> you and him murdered that guy? I really wish that Adam had made our engagement a little more traumatizing. Honestly, it was too beautiful and too lovely and nice. And it had all of my friends and it was gorgeous and I cried. And I should have been crying because he brought up something horrible that I did that I could never live down. Like that murder. Yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. like that murder. Exactly I wish that like he- that murder. When she hit someone with her car and then backed over them, (laughs) that was crazy. (laughs) And now she's telling everybody about it online. Wow. That's house arrest for the at least. I've never done vehicular manslaughter, okay? Or vehicular murder. Legally, she has to say that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. That's so fucking funny. (laughs) But yeah, okay. We have a fiance of the pod now, in case you didn't hear. It's Adam. It's not Simone. Yay. (laughs) We also. Uh, Chelsea and I informed Taylor that he has in fact been upgraded to, to boyfriend, boyfriend of, of the, the pod. Yeah. Instead of just Mr. There must <laughs> always be one. Mr. of the pod. I was going to say mistress. He, st- he was mistress of right. the pod. The mistress I guess. of the pod. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. doesn't sound good. No. No. Mr. of the pod. Mr. Bro. of the pod doesn't sound good. Or side He was the side piece of the pod. <laughs> side piece of the pod. Yeah, yeah. I do like, you know, calling him a mistress though. I do think that's funny. We can do that. <laughs> well, now we have to find a mistress. Chelsea, that's on you now. Where's the daddy of the pod? Where's the butch daddy of the pod? <laughs> daddy. Actually, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I bitch. Was, I'm the I daddy. Like, I said that I would, <laughs> I would really like us to not outsource daddy of the pod. That makes me feel yeah, scared. Yeah, stay we gotta internal. Be one of us. We got to keep some of these. We got to keep some of these promotions internal, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't go outside of the... <laughs> don't I look butch? Don't I look daddy right now? You so. always are giving daddy a yeah. I'm so Thank scared. you so much. We did listen to Daddy as Fuck earlier today. We did. It was great. Like I did. Bodies, bodies, bodies. We did. About me and Sydney, I was pointing at her. Look, I even got the name right. Wow. Wow. So it seems like she was pointing this general direction. Which could be either Sydney's. <laughs> A lot of blonde We're gonna swap places real quick. See if she notices. I fucking hate it when you guys are both blonde. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable? I hate it. You know how I feel about blondes. There can only be one around me at any given time, and it's Sydney. Not just yeah. We're right I'm here. I'm Sydney. <laughs> we're right here. <laughs> There's just two Sydneys, now. according to you. Okay, I love so being delirious. Speaking of me and Sydney, this movie was made for us. <laughs> Sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> Hear me out. Did you have a career in radio? No. <laughs> I could have. You could. You could. You could still. You could still. But Sydney and I met working in radio, radio. and so. <laughs> What's your favorite radio station, Monica? Really it. It's one hundred two point seven Kiss FM. No, it's Post one hundred three point five. Yeah. I did have a question yeah. about how radio contests work. Oh, I can answer. Do they call you and say, hey, girl, I'd like to give you a chance to win radio contests? You call them usually, uh, right? It, or is it something where it's like you can leave your number and they'll call back? There there are ones where they call you. Here, okay. Yeah. Here's a little historical thing. Oh. On my, my grandfather was a radio show host and he gave was had the first radio show that gave away money. And the way that he did the it first? was he, mm-hmm. the very first one ever. Whoa. Yeah. Brian Rose okay, got the idea this from is, my Chelsea, grandpa. Unfa- in fact, you were in the presence of radio royalty. I knew that. For both I of us. I did know yeah. that. Yeah. For real. But anyway, so the way he would do it is he had this big, it was called the pot of gold, and he had one of these big spinning wheels, like Wheel of Fortune <gasps> kind of vibes, and he'd spin it, and each, whatever it landed on would refer to like a volume of the phone book. And then a page, and then another thing, and then another thing, until it got to a specific page of the phone book. I don't know how the phone books worked back then. So back in the day, this was back in like the fucking thirties. So, uh, but and then he would go to that number and that pay, like exact person in the phone book and just call them, like cold call them. And it was actually a huge big deal because the show got so popular it was during the Great Depression that people wouldn't go out to the show like to see the movies during that time they because would stay they home. wanted to wait to see if they'd get the phone call. And anyway. Big, Whoa. big I, movie shut him down. But anyway, <gasps> that, so that that was an example. They could call you if you like pre-sign up or something. Yeah, now if you 
pre-sign up, they will not leave a voicemail and they will not call you back. So like if you sign up for something and they call in, you, you miss not it. You have the setting on your phone that silences unknown callers. Yes. Like if you miss it, I miss a post goodbye. Yeah, they, 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 will, they will call it. It'll automatically like call another they, person. Because my Domino's have to get that answer drove right away. now. The way it usually works is like that. Like I used to work for uh, Coast and Kiss, but I think of Color 102 more. Yeah. <laughs> but like I would pick up the phone when they had a contest, and there'd be like a million people calling at once, and I'd pick up and I go one, two. two Three, three oh yeah. four, five, and you just like count, count all the way up to that number, and that's Coast never did. Coast was always like, "Do you say one to the person so they yeah hear yeah it? you say it twenty seven on caller one caller okay. two caller and three and you just like caller there's four. a button that just like hangs up goes to the next person mm-hmm. yeah it's like a little arrow next and I don't know about you but when I would do it I would like skip so it would be like caller one caller seven caller like fifteen I caller did blah, it. Blah, blah. I'm very honest <laughs> I was not. <laughs> I'm like I don't want, quite frankly I don't know if I could count all the way to 102 you fucking drove me nuts yeah. you drove me nuts you'd have to go so okay. fast like I like when I'm like crocheting I have to do it in like tens otherwise I like lose count and get all jumbled what can we that's, talk about this that's later? also why you have to say it out loud because otherwise like I can't count in my sure. head like that Because like, did I say seven like who knows? I could be speaking out loud and be like, happen. I don't remember what I just said. So I'd just be like, uh. I'm sorry. I want to go back to the counting by tens. Yeah. Explain. So I'll be like, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one, two, three, okay. four, five, six, okay. seven, eight, nine, I ten. Being like, two. Like, that's ten, oh. and that's twenty. And I was like, things are gonna um, get astronomical. Like, you're, gonna, you're looking at all those tens, and you know that's ten, but you can't count eleven, twelve, thirteen. I like. Nope. But I understand. I gotta now. start all the way back over at one. I, I understand now. Okay. okay. I <laughs> numbers are hard. Also, want to give a shout out one one Brandy, OG Scream Queen, having oh. her Brandy. Brandy's having a moment this summer. I'm she really is. excited for her because the boy is mine is back in the <gasps> vernacular trivia. Apparently, um, the guy who played Tyrell in this movie, um, I read his name on IMDb trivia, but I don't. Um, Mecky Pfeiffer, I think. Um, oh he. Makai, is it? I think so. Okay, Makai Pfeiffer. He was the boy in The Boy Is My <gasps> music video. The when did that song come out? Mine. I guess before this movie. I'll, or it I'll, could be after because of this movie. Because this is oh, 1998. Maybe. But I, I really don't know. I, I love that for her. And they did the remix, which I still haven't listened to the remix with Ariana Brandy Grande and Monica Same on it. 1998. Oh. oh, that's so fun. Oh, I love that. That makes me very excited, actually. Mm. Um, and she's also so she's so cute in this, and I'm I'm glad she's going back to her horror roots. We already talked about it. Well, at some point, I like that, that she is cute. not afraid of being a scream queen because IMDb trivia said this was Jennifer Love Hewitt's last horror movie because she didn't want to be labeled as a scream queen. And I'm like, girl, big boo on that. Meanwhile, Jack Black's first horror movie, but uncredited. 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 That's wild. That's so crazy. They're like, well, no one's gonna not know that that's Jack, Jack Black, Black, so we don't even have to give him the credit. Um, yeah, because I just recently watched um, his episode of X Files, mm. and he that was like probably four years prior than this, like ninety three, ninety four, something around his early seasons. He is so itty bitty baby in that, and he's it's more of a serious role. So that's the last time I saw him, and then I saw him in this, and I was like. Oh There's God. Jack Black. Mm. <laughs> I love Jack Black so much. It's hard because I'm a big stan of him, and I love The Holiday, and I'm always like, Jack Black is hot. Everybody get on board. Jack Black is hot. But unfortunately, this is a docking point against him. <laughs> yeah. There's something about the white people dress dreads that just you're you can't You're getting move points past taken that. off. You can't move past that. Jack Black is hot, but that was not his role in this movie. Yes. Yeah, I know. So, but usually it still they comes had through. To, they had to dress him down. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, he's too. It's hot. It's gonna be too distracting. We gotta give him dreads. Than Freddie Prince, Prince Jr. Jr. We gotta give him dreads. I always forget that Freddie Prince Jr.'s name has a Z in it too. I know. It's Prince. kind of it's crazy. It's really creative. It's kind of cunty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving. It's serving. It's like when you're. What if the um, city is that? In Prince Junior High or whatever, mm. and you're like, my name's not exciting enough. I gotta, I gotta change one of these letters. And then you're like, what if I put a little Z right here? Are you Chelsea? What if I did a Chelsea kind of thing? <laughs> Chelsea. Would that would that resonate? Oh. That's like how I was trying to get James to start going Zonica. by Zane. No. 
What's his middle name? I know, but Zidney. No. Zidney. Zidney. Or, Zidney? for your consideration, Zidney. Twisters 3 Free. is Twisters with a Z. <laughs> but Chelsea said that the E should be a 3, which is Twistered. Which is the Twistered. Probably better. And it, then it should be in 3D. Twistered. Oh it well, should be already twistered. In yeah, twistered. You got twistered. And it's in 3D. Or get twistered, bitch. Like that. Get twisted in 3D. That sounds like nasty to me. It reminds me because you said no, that's what it is. I was like, why does it remind me of pooping? It's because you literally say turd at the end of it. I don't think that's it. I think that's no, it. No, I, I don't think that's it. Bring up big turd vibes for me. Anyway, we've divulged. <laughs> divulge i don't know we're divulging a lot right now okay um, i still know what you did last summer fact, i still know what you did last summer brandy is so cute she is amazing i'm excited she's going to be in that new a24 movie and i just love that apparently chelsea was saying kevin williamson was unavailable <laughs> <laughs> and it to, to write this yeah. film, unfortunately and um so whoever who wrote it well, um, I think there was a little bit of kerfuffle with the writing because I also saw an IMDb trivia that it was like, this person was credited with writing this movie until the movie came out and then only one other person was credited. Um, <laughs> they were credited with it and then they saw the final film and they were like, <laughs> um, I didn't actually have anything to do with that. Yeah, Trey <laughs> Calloway is the official screenwriter of this movie. Oh, Trey. Um, but let's see if I can find the, the entry. Because Kevin Williamson was busy writing what, Chelsea? Scream 3, which, as we all know, he did not actually have the final script <laughs> on. So He just got really it just, shafted. Um, there's really a, got it, was, it was complicated, he okay? He was on the top of the world like one year before, and then he got shafted. So oh, how hard. the mighty fall. It's Unnecessarily. <laughs> I think not fair. it was not that he fell with Scream 3 so much as it just went through so much studio bullshit. No, no, you know no. what I mean? That's but, what I mean. Yeah. I, I'm not saying that he did a bad job. No, I'm no, just no, saying know. that. No, no, no. We know we all love Scream we know, 3. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but we like, love Kevin Williamson and we love Scream 3. <laughs> they're like, wow, Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven together created magic with Scream. And now it's amazing and blah, blah, blah. And look at what he's done for the slashers in the 90s. And then they're like. Um, let's just make it so he actually can't write anything that he wanted actually, to write. Actually, what if he gets a little bit sidelined? Could that be cool? I don't think that the guy who wrote it has anything to do with how good the last ones were, actually. That doesn't make any sense. So we could just <laughs> yeah. we could just cram him to the side. Really genius. Thanks, Harvey Weinstein. Mm. Yeah. God yeah, and then on this one, I still know what you did last summer. Completely different director, too. Yeah. So Jim Gillespie directed the first one. And this one is directed by Danny Cannon. Mm. And one of the only reasons that um, Jennifer Love Hewitt came back was because she thought Jim Gillespie was going to be directing again. And then he wasn't. So. Yeah. Because this is like totally like off the fucking chain. In com not positive, negative. In comparison. <laughs> oh, I remembered a joke I was going to make earlier, but now it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Devastating. Fine. No, okay. I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, <laughs> The joke is that when you were saying like, oh, what a perfect day for uh, Ray to propose to Julie, <laughs> the anniversary that they killed that dude. And I was like, Adam did something just very similar where he proposed to me on the same day that six years ago, Priyanka Chopra was proposed to by Nick, Nick Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> so the worst day of Monica's life. life. <laughs> I was Adam is returning to the her, scene of the it, crime. I was joking that you killed somebody. So yeah. I was like, all he did. Yeah. I'll hop on hers. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. We needed to rehash Should've that. Should have followed my own instincts. <laughs> so funny. You, you might have forgotten that was a huge Nick Jonas stan. As a How huge, could you forget? And now we're going to move past it. Uh, <laughs> let's spend more time on this. Yeah. <laughs> let's actually dive I, deeper. I'm interested in this let's only. Let's stay here for a minute. Let's yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We've talked about Glenn Powell and Twisters. Earth. I told Monica the other day she needs to watch Scream Queens. It has Nick Jonas in it. I and Glenn Powell. All coming together. In this realm. I know. Chad Radwell. I love Chad Radwell. I kind of hate that bitch, but. I love him. That's a horrible name. No, it's a great name. Well, that's Glenn Powell's name in it. Yeah. He looks like he's going to be a douche in it. He's wearing one of those Yeah, that's hats. why his name is Chad, Chad Radwell. Radwell. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. And I love him. It's great writing. That's great writing. Okay. Well, that, this, no that, that's a movie. It's not great writing. <laughs> <laughs> this one. But it's, 
it's just what do so you mean? funny that they're like, we're gonna do something totally different because the rest of the cast is dead. Let's go to the Bahamas. <laughs> Let's go to the Aruba, Bahamas. Jamaica. It's Ooh, I wanna I take you to Aruba. I cried. Mama, I cried to Kokomo the other day. That's, I, you mentioned that actually. I <laughs> cried to Kokomo because I was on my way into that creep double feature and I made a wrong turn while Kokomo was playing and I got so anxious that I was gonna miss it that I started crying. <laughs> and Kokomo was like, la 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 la. I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, everybody really Take likes the slow. episodes where we're together because they're like this. Anyway, this movie being bad and stuff, but it's still really good. Um, there, I I just love how they're like we have this story that's already pretty all over the place. <laughs> what do you mean? And we're <laughs> how do make we? It, we're gonna make it have the most complicated backstory that takes yeah. place in the Bahamas. <laughs> I guess the Bahamas are pretty. Are they close to the East Coast? I don't know shit about the East Coast. They're not that far from Florida, I think, which is how Ray manages to sail there in a hurricane. Yeah, he takes a bus. He's on a motor boat. He's not sailing. <laughs> if he was sailing, he'd be I dead. I can't really speak to the difference, but I appreciate that one. No presumably, sail. yeah, has a sail. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, if you leave the Atlanta airport and you fly there, it's like less than two hours by plane. Okay, okay. I guess that. But he had to get on a greyhound. It's preposterous that the whole premise of the story is that, you know, the hook man is still alive. I just want to know how he. He, like, has ties to this fucking resort in the Bahamas. And it's this giant <laughs> conspiracy with the radio. <laughs> like, that's what they did for the sequel. I don't know that there really what is the a bad conspiracy guys? with the radio no, I know. so much as he's got radio voice. Yeah. I want to know what, is, what these still, bad guys' budget hilarious. was and how much was airfare in 1998 that Ray could pawn this ring for, like, $200 afford a greyhound bus a t- and a t- like a plane ticket round trip to get there he didn't what fly. plane ticket are you talking he couldn't about? Yeah. fly he took the boat and but he, he had to get to the bahamas i think that's like the boat the boat got him to the bahamas i think he had to get to the bahamas and then it was like a separate island so he had to get to the main island of bahamas and then he went to like a smaller one no actually i think that sydney's right because there is that part in the beginning which is really funny and look we're back at the beginning amazing wow Uh, (laughs) once (laughs) freddie prince jr didn't come on the trip because he was being killed we'll talk about that later but yeah yeah. there's the whole part with what's brandy's boyfriend's name tyrell 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 is making fun of be will Mm -hmm. Will, not ben (laughs) <laughs> Will um, for uh, being scared of the plane, mm-hmm. and then they get on the boat, boat. to get right. these vomtown dot com. But that doesn't. But mean- no, he the the boat man says no. But you have to take the boat to get to this island. So I think they flew to- into like a probably Nassau. Realistically, the largest city on the Bahamas. Yeah, and they then- did, but Ray didn't. I think Ray- I know, but that was that same man. Yeah, that Ray- was the same boat man. So they would have had to have been in. In the oh he was at he, Nassau or whatever you yeah did. I mean there's no way to know for sure hmm. and I'm really glad we're diving into the <laughs> this trouble is, this is important to get to the bottom of <laughs> we should get Adam in here he loves this shit <laughs> fiance fiance <laughs> we need you to talk about how to get to the Bahamas a place you've never been do you take a train a plane or an automobile obviously you take a Greyhound bus you take a boat <laughs> As part of it. You take, take the, the midnight hand. train going anywhere. That's really beautiful, Sydney. That's Thank you. Stunning. That. That Thank really you. gorgeous. And that's the end of the episode. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Bye, Spooky. <laughs> now you're, you don't even know who you I are. Am <laughs> you see my roots, brunette. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm having an identity crisis. I don't understand the logistics, and I don't know if the movie understands the logistics either, because that feels like the least of its worries. (laughs) Well, okay. Here's the thing. Okay. The thing we were discussing earlier is that he drives up to the East Coast and then drives back down, which is crazy. Yeah. Insane. Presumably not crazy, crazy far, but like North Carolina to Miami on a Greyhound, probably not that long of a trip. Well, yes, Florida's. That's a long. long. That's a um, long trip. But he's not coming from the East Coast up top like they are. You know what I mean? So North Carolina, much further. He down. was already on his way to. I think it was K 
Cambridge or, or Boston, wherever. That's true. Because he was driving up with his friend. Dave. Who, oh. Dave. He has, he's got a name. Um, he, he was really cute. Yeah. Was cute. He reminded me in the beginning of Harry Styles in the um, Aroda music video. The Fisherman, the Fisherman one. Yeah. One. I love that one. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, he... He's adorable, and I I liked his whole vibe, and he was funny. And then he had to get hooked he in had the to face get hooked or whatever. Face. Yeah, happened. yeah, that was crazy. Because I mean, there's so it's much. It's a twelve more. hour drive from North Carolina to Miami without stops. Oh my god, this is terrible. He's None committed. of this makes sense. Everyone would have died in this timeline. <laughs> The fact that he had to take a Greyhound bus to go save his girl. Can you imagine? And, then it, and he has head trauma. A bus on a plane and we, a boat. Well, we saw that they slept there at least one night. So, like, he left aiming to get to Boston around the same time they were supposed to leave. Yeah. So you can kind of piece the timeline together a little bit. Yeah. A little he bit. also, I mean, Ray also fell, did 15 somersaults downhill and he bonked his head real bad Big bonk. and then he had to go to the hospital yeah and he was in the hospital and then he yeeted himself out a window he, how many stories up was he hospitals he went out the window yeah i don't know, I don't know that we know, I don't that. know if he went out we the just, window. they literally pan from the bed and then they pan to the open window <laughs> it's the only way for him to get out he's gone like a ghost yeah he will do anything for his girl okay i'll tell you that right now taylor better be taken except notes. admit that he dated missy egan right yeah, I'm Billy well, Blue. That, that would be a weird. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> we talked about this last time. I wouldn't want to admit that either. Like, hey, hey I fucked this girl who I um, killed her brother. Who I thought we I killed her brother. I was going through something. It's real fucked up, actually. It's, it's super fucking weird. We've got to be But honest. it's fine, because Ray looks hot in that one scene, and that makes up for everything oh, that, that he did. that makes up for everything. Yep, that makes up for everything. I just feel bad that he keeps getting sidelined I, in, in these movies. Like, I guess it was because he was still a, a young actor, because this only came out, what, the year after? I wonder if he had filming constraints for the second one, though. I didn't. I don't know that I saw anything on IMDb trivia, but... Yeah. Because I think that's one of the stronger points of it's hard to go from a movie that had such a fun ensemble cast and then give you like a brand new ensemble yeah. cast that you're supposed to care about. But luckily, innately, we all care about Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. Um, thank God. You guys see Brandy Cinderella? Yeah. It's yeah. the best Cinderella. Oh, my God. I so woke good. Taylor up one day because he was asleep and I was like, well, I'm bored and I'm going to do this. And then I was singing all the songs and he was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're a plain yellow pumpkin and a bridge we're doing in marriage. Impossible. <laughs> we're doing a lot of singing on this episode. And copyright, that, copyright, we, copyright. I mean, they, uh, <laughs> Such fun, oh. roll and fiddly D, of course. Oh my god, it won't stop. It's impossible. not stopping. <laughs> It's such a slice of It's so good. We should do that for a fifth Tuesday sometime. Oh, yes. We'll yeah. sing the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, Actually, we'll good. just act out the entire movie. <gasps> Patreon God. exclusive. Patreon exclusive. <laughs> act along to the film with us. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I really think that... It's hilarious, though, that the whole thing, like every second of it was was planned to torture them, that they arrived in the Bahamas on the day that hurricane season <laughs> began. Like that's, that's how they got the budget for this whole idea. Oh, and the yeah. fact that <laughs> insult to injury and the fact that the hurricanes were on time. One. Yeah. Most of the time, those bitches are late. There's also just like so many fucking like. I feel they're doing too much of this movie, obviously, but. There's, okay. there's so many little details that they're like, oh, and this is going to be a gotcha later. Like, the boat <laughs> is done yeah. by six, and there's all these, like, little things. Like, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, okay. okay, like, we don't need... There's but like also IMDb trivia that's like... You can tell that this one person's going to betray them when they all walk around the fountain and three of them go one way and one goes the other. <gasps> and the song on the soundtrack is like, one of these is different than the other three. <laughs> Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta rewatch. We missed that. <laughs> I was too hungry to see that detail. <laughs> okay, but also too, like when they get there, there's so many people and it's so busy. And then like they're all leaving. <laughs> they're like, right? This is, the last day. <laughs> this is the last possible time to leave. Otherwise, we're trapped here during 
a category five. <laughs> Are you so excited for your very romantic tropical stay in the storm shelter? <laughs> yes. It could still be romantic. There's an emergency a, power down there. You're going to have a great time in the rain. And Nancy's there. Yeah. And Nancy's there. And that's really all you need. She's so that's hot. That's really all anybody needs. She is so hot. And, and she knows how to make good, dark, and stormy. Oh. With Tabasco in it? I didn't know about that. No, I don't think that's right. That kind of scared me. I don't know. Um, I They also, like, really tried to up the... Not gore necessarily, but the kill the kills in this one. Yeah. And I mean, I guess that's good. What's the rating on this one? Is it R? Mm, I don't think that's for any of us to know. Yeah. Sorry. I think it's a it's really, mystery. It's really hard for me <laughs> to get into my I don't think they ever announced that publicly. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Why would you Maybe ask us that, Monica? Us, you know, now we have to kill you. <laughs> Oh my god. R. It's R. Dar. She R. says she says the fuck word, so that makes sense. She says the fuck word. Yeah. So we're like, we're gonna make this one R. We're gonna make this one fucking crazy. Mm. And to do that, we're gonna kill all these innocent people well, working at the hotel. Actually that part felt sad. It is sad, but I had a thought. Oh. Um, but we'll Our have to reveal a little about I feel like we can at this point. <laughs> we're forty four minutes in. Yeah. Did you hear what she said to me just I now? did. It took me a second to hear it. Chelsea's been thrown out bangers. First of all, yeah, all I made a really good joke earlier. I haven't made it yet on this episode because there was not a natural. It didn't appear not. I don't want to force a joke, but I don't know how to work it in. It came so easy earlier. Dear but, um, God. The, first of all, the joke was about Ray being like, I don't know, I can make it, I have to work, blah, 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 blah. It's trauma versus the Bahamas. I know. So now we've got that on the record, and we can make it the episode title, like Thank we said. Thank God. We I love trauma, Bahama. But I was trauma versus the Bahamas. Trauma, Bahama. Trauma, Bahama. Trauma, Bahama. Trauma, trauma Bahama. 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 Trauma meets Bahama. Trauma versus Bahama. That should be the tagline for this. Like, <laughs> I uh, still know what you did last summer. It be better than whatever that long thing is that was like, as caused by the blah, blah, blah. As blah. well as caused yeah, even more. Yeah. Um, okay. What I was saying that was <laughs> smart, potentially, <laughs> is um, about, about the twist. Um, Estes reveals to us later in the movie that um, there was the man who lived at the resort and he worked there and he caught his wife having an affair in the honeymoon suite and then he killed her and then fled the island with the children, blah, blah, blah. I think it's there's a read for this movie where all of those employees were ba there back then also. Yeah. And he holds them responsible or complicit in covering up the affair or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for Nancy, who's innocent. Except for Nancy, who's young obviously innocent. Yeah. yeah. Also, Jack Black wouldn't have been there either. Well, it depends on how old the kids, how long ago this was. He was a little bellboy. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Black was just a little stoner. His dress were only this long. long. <laughs> but also, we don't know how old the kids were. Because, you yeah. know, it could be like my parents going on vacation being like, where are the kids? And it's like, there we're are 30. grandkids now, but I'm I'm still one of the kids, you know? I'm yeah. 30 and I'm in the kids' table. You're one of the kids. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a kid. I'm a child. Yeah. So, like, maybe it was... Only three years before. Because another thing on Wait. IMDb trivia is that people um, make fun of the title of this movie a lot. Because while it's a great name for a sequel to I Know What You Did Last Summer, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, um, actually they were saying that realistically I still know it would be I Still Know What You Did Two Summers Ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be really clear. Another year has passed, but I still know. Yeah, I it's been three know. years, actually. Well, maybe this one is more about what they did last year, which was cut off his hand. True. Oh, oh that's a good yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I still know that you cut off my hand last I summer. I still know that. Yeah, I still know about that. And don't think I forgot it. I think about it every day. I <laughs> think about it Arr, all the time. Arr. You should have got Okay. Here's another thing I thought. This is for later on in the movie, but Sorry, I'm saying it now. So I thought he was kind of hot this that. time. I thought that that Ben was kind of hot. I think that's one. very fair. Yeah. Is this what happens when you're in your 30s? You yeah. start thinking that Ben from the fucking <laughs> I know like, you did last summer is hot now. Is... It's like Charlie from no. Twilight. Yeah. Well, well, he was always everybody hot. Everybody always thought Charlie Everybody, hot. everybody always thought Charlie It's He looks like the fish from Finding Nemo with the scar now. Oh, yeah. The oh, hot yeah. fish. Oh, yeah, he looks like the that sexy hot fish. fish. <laughs> Why are there, there are a 
lot of hot fish. Remember Cleo, that hot gold Oh, fish? Angelina Jolie Who fish? Is, oh, that one, no, too. She was talking I'm thinking about, about the, the one, one that from, was from oh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Pinocchio yeah. Yeah. That was a like, from character Lagoon. reference for Creature of Creature, the Black Lagoon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and don't forget Angelina Jolie playing a fish. Oh, my God. I uh-huh. mean, every fish in Why whatever fish the shark tail. Sexy? Shark tail. This is why I like to snorkel. What do you think I'm doing? They <laughs> 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 had a, a really successful snorkel trip. She's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking crazy little freak. <laughs> yeah. Monica's found somebody to match her freak. Somebody going to match my freak. It's Adam. It's he was snorkeling Adam. with me. <laughs> <laughs> um. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, I know what you did. I two still know what you did two, two summers, summers ago. ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, the body count got um, majorly yeah. upgraded, which is okay. how I got into mine. That, that's fair. That's fair, though, that he might be like, fuck you, Clara. Yeah. Claire, I know that you cleaned up after them in the room so that they wouldn't get caught. Exactly. Brooks, I know that you held that room reserved for them to sneak away. That guy what was did the dick, boat guy though. do? Honestly, maybe Brooks... Do we know who she was fucking? Because Brooks is the Ooh. one that had the I still know written above mm. him. So maybe it's like, I maybe know you him. fucked my wife. Ooh. I know you fucked I my wife. I still know. I still know you fucked my That's wife. the name of the third movie. I know you fucked my wife. <laughs> my wife. We keep talking about how we're so scared for the third one. <laughs> like, I'm ready. I've seen Mean Girls too, so I'm ready. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I have it. I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, yeah. It's not great. Ooh. Yeah, I've seen it. So. Do you think I need to see also... Psycho too before I can appreciate this? No, I haven't mm. seen that one actually. I heard it's actually good. Oh, yeah. And okay. Like in a camp way, maybe. I don't know. Don't like quote me on that. Camp, camp too. <laughs> I love that movie though. That movie's such a slay. Happy campers. <laughs> um. But yeah, okay. Should I bring up the book stuff now? How yes. Much detail yeah, do you I think. Get I th- yeah. I think yeah. we should go over. We're into the backstory. We're now. into the backstory now. So, really interestingly, I'm gonna go through spoilers for the book. It's but the 2005 Iraqi wo- Iraqi War. <laughs> what Iraqi is like a little cute thing onto it? The Iraqi War. Five Iraq War <laughs> version of it, not the Vietnam one. I really wanted the Vietnam one, but here we are. That's all the library had for me. <laughs> um. But the book was, I honestly really, really liked it. I was telling Chelsea that I was giving like uh, Nancy Drew vibes tonally, just like the style of writing. I, don't I love know, Nancy like Drew. Like more like, n- like narrative mystery kind of vibes. Obviously, we talked about in the last episode of this series that it's not the slasher that they make it out to be. Like, um, no one, spoiler alert dies except for <laughs> the, except main for the main die the main difference and this is a an edit that makes you able to like julie james at all um in the books they kill a little 10 year old boy who is on his bicycle oof that is who they kill um, to be fair it is dark and there's no lights yeah, he's, he's so like the hitting him home. is understandable. Yeah, the, but the hitting him's un- understandable. The, the I do not condone the thumbs up <laughs> that just came up on the screen. Okay. Yeah, fuck them kids. He didn't have that, any that, light. This is for hitting kids with cars. No, no see, <laughs> you're confusing it. We don't accept that here on the podcast. But he was had a fight with oh, his family. It really his doesn't family. want a thumbs down. He had a fight with his friend that he was staying at their house, and his mom wouldn't come pick him up because he was like, you guys got to figure it out. And then uh. he hopped on his bike in the middle of the night and was on the same windy road, and then he gets mowed down by Barry, and they'd all been drinking and mm. um, smoking a little pot. <gasps> Reefer! Reefer madness. Um and then Barry just like hits and runs and he keeps going and like Julie and Ray are like let's no let's go back but Helen's like no Barry will like is over 18 he'll go to real jail and like all this stuff and he'll be tried as as an adult and it's this whole thing blah 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 so that makes it a lot sadder but the twist is totally different in this book Obviously, because it's not like this child is a zombie and comes back, blah, blah, blah. The kid is dead. He actually died. There's none of that lover backstory, anything Mm -hmm. like that. But what it is, is there's this one, there's two different characters that pop onto the scene that you don't really know a lot about. And one is like a younger guy who's like 
really being there for Helen after Barry gets shot and oh. he almost is uh, paralyzed from it, but he doesn't die. Um, and this guy, Tolly, is there like for him. And then Julie James, in the year that Ray has been in California, has been dating this guy named Bud. And the reveal at the end is they're actually both the same guy. They just have been in different contexts. So you've never like known enough about them until later on where you're starting to realize. And I guess the whole twist, by the way, she and did. that's yeah, on God. Yeah, it's on the record. It's on record. I sent a voice note. <laughs> I was like, it's definitely Kali. Um, and then like 10 pages later, I was like, mm, it could be Bud. But then at the end of that voice note, and I was like, or they could be the same person. Ooh. Anyway, I was really proud of myself. <laughs> anyway. And I had to play it off because I knew the ending and I was just like, cool. Interesting thought. Interesting idea. Good theory, Monica. Uh, Let me know when you get there. Yeah. But anyway, the whole reveal, though, is it's like, who's this guy? Who's Bud slash Collie? He is the older brother of the kid who died. And so that's where this whole plot point, I believe, comes from. For yeah, I, I still agree. know what you did last summer. They're totally pulling that whole part of the book and putting it in here, which I think is actually like a cool smart. thing to add. I yeah. think it's smart. I thought that was a that was a fun twist, like to have the brother be this undercover guy in his life, very similar to Bud, like trying to date her, that trying to date date Julie James, um, but. Very There's similar just... to Rowan, Ronan in Scream 3. Yeah. Yeah, it's super similar to Ronan in Scream 3. It's interesting. But Roman. 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 I was like, why does that sound wrong? Sorry. sorry. I said Rowan. I'm like, that's wrong. Ro Ro we're gonna, we'll get wrong. there. We'll get there. Roman. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> we were so close. But yeah, uh, I thought that was fun that they still like brought in some of that original text into this. But of course, then they're also like, but it's in the Bahamas. And there's this other thing with murder. And it's a father done father son killing duo team and yeah. it's crazy a dynamic and, duo yeah. yeah so it it's very insane <laughs> it is so interesting though because it like you were saying i think it is such a smart way again these movies are so fuck you to the original writer in many ways <laughs> yeah um sorry oops that's Oopsie. not nice um but sorry lois it is a smart way to incorporate that like canon from the book not that many book readers were probably like connecting it to this movie necessarily yeah. i think they did for the first one because i remember an imdb trivia thing where a bunch of people who auditioned for julie james were like i love this book growing up mm -hmm. um but i don't know that like movie goers necessarily i'd never heard about it being yeah a book. Series, especially for our age yeah. demographic because we which is a little alive behind the target audience first, yeah now. yeah um but it's such an interesting nod, and it is so, like, of the Scream series as well, because it's mm -hmm. also so Scream 2, where it's revealed that the killer was Billy's mom, um, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, the connection to the original crime, which makes sense, because it's like, that's why it's still relevant. haunting them. It's not that they did something else bad again, it's yeah. that there's baggage still from this first thing we haven't finished the first round mm -hmm. yeah and it also makes sense with something as elaborate as this it can't just be like one person yeah. you know like there's because I, I forgot for a second i knew i had i knew that muse watson was coming back because i had looked at imdb cast and crew and also oh, i yes, like that's the name of the guy who plays yeah, ben i great thought name. he has that incredible name. I, great name. incredible name muse um, muse watson great name and i like looked at stuff for the franchise in general so i knew he was in this movie but i forgot for a minute and i remembered the twist about will yeah um and i was like but how is he in two places at once right now like he's there with tyrell and things are happening so is he sneaking away what's going on and then i remembered and i was like oh yeah because they only got his hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that I think that's a really fun part of it. And it's the best part of the twisty nature of this, I would say. But they just took it from Lois. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Still can't give credit to the writer of this one. Sorry, bro. I think that they, like, there's something interesting about it where Will's position in the movie so easily mirrors Johnny Galecki's character Max I think mm -hmm. from the first one which is like 
the guy who's kind of a loser and likes her and she's friends with, but she does she's not interested in romantically. Mm, yeah, she has yeah, Ray. Totally. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and like there's the um red herring of like, is it Max for a second in that movie? So mm. I kind of think that's almost a good way to throw suspicion off of Will to mm. like put him in that role in her life. But also it's a very suspicious role in her life to be the guy who's like there pining when she has a boyfriend even if things are like a little rocky and yeah he's like oh we could sleep in the same hotel the it, same honeymoon suite totally it platonic. won't be no bad yeah, i'll sleep just, on the couch no funny business creepy vibes from the get-go though because like she isn't broken up yeah. with ray you know so like what's your angle here dude in this situation well it's honestly kind of shitty of her friends yeah it's kind of it's, it's shitty of carla yeah, like i really love carla but she really like is she's not like not a homie in the this best movie friend also it's she her breaks her contest when she wants to fuck her boyfriend okay still she breaks into her room in the dark and almost gets stabbed at the yeah. beginning well too, in her so. defense she thought that she was gonna and be out of, out of town yeah, that's true. That's true. I definitely used to go into my roommate's rooms. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Be like, oh, yoink, I needed that. Yoink. Mm, this Thanks. is mine. I'm using these markers. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This movie really goes nuts. It really goes nuts. But And, and don't forget there's Jack Black. And don't, and forget, there's Jack and Black. don't forget there's Jack Black. He's got the reefer madness. And there's some voodoo. Yeah. Light voodoo. Oh, there's some light voodoo. Oh, yeah, they do the classic other red herring thing where they're like, it's actually the voodoo guy. And he is. It's always nice. never the voodoo guy. He is a very nice man <laughs> doing protective things. Yeah, there's an um, IMDb trivia entry that says, um, oh, we only see him do it on Carla's item and Julie's item. And they're the two at the end. But then it's also like, well, but Tyrell finds his chain in there. So. But, but there notice. wasn't an item for exactly Will. There wasn't an item for Will. Estes knew what, knew what the deal was. Uh huh. He probably recognized that kid's face. Yeah. Yeah. There's something on IMDb trivia Estes that is, is, a cool is like before you even a gleam in your father's eye. Blah 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 blah. So he, he said, "I know you're a little fucking freak. I've been doing this since before you were a gleam in your father's eye." So foreshadowing that he knows Will is the son of Ben Willis. Mm. And also, obviously, he reveals he knows him when he hits him in the head with an oar. Yeah. yeah. That so. was badass. What did So again, further evidence that the affair was three years ago. Mm. Actually, I bet we could look at the date on the tombstone for the mom. Mm. Susan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Great. But uh, I didn't. We didn't. But we didn't I didn't. About it. Could. We can go back. For social media. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Unless it doesn't say anything and it's not interesting. Or, or maybe again. you could tell us. Yeah. yeah. Right in. How about you do a little work for yeah. once? Okay. <laughs> God, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. This movie is so fucking insane. It's so insane. I just... It's just like everything about it is so nuts. I had a good time still, to be totally clear. But I really yeah. remembered it being like good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this one actually fucks. And I think I said that last time we did the last episode of this series. I was like, I can't wait for this one. I also misremembered the first song of the credits being Jennifer Love Hewitt's song. And it's not. And I'm very I disappointed. Feel okay. Like but we did watch that music video before we recorded this and you were doing your makeup and I was watching the music video and it was like, this song has absolutely nothing to do with horror, anything. And she's just like in a wife beater standing and singing next to a car. And every once in a while, there's like random scary movie clips in the <laughs> background. Classic. She <laughs> said, oh, you want me to do karaoke in the movie? You're going to have to include my song for real. That's the part. That's the part. That's the thing. We, that was our big thing with the last episode. This is, is like launching Jennifer Love Hewitt's music career, and they wouldn't let Brit. They wouldn't let Brandy sing. Um, yeah. Brandy said, "I don't need a song on your soundtrack. I, who am I, Mandy Moore, that has to sing in every movie and TV role I'm in? The boy I'm Brandy. Is, the boy is mine. Is coming out this year. I'm fine. I'm actually. I'm still Moesha. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love Moesha. I know. I love Brandy." It was on the end. Yeah, it was incredible. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I left out one. Shunned. 
Monica sorry, problematic Brandy. once again. Monica canceled. So sorry, Brandy. I just wanted to say <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry I didn't watch Moesha. Anyway, <laughs> but um, I did think it. Here's here's my gripe. Here's my gripe. I really wanted to hear Jennifer Love Hewitt sing, and these bitches were singing so fucking loud I couldn't hear her sing. <laughs> I was like, I just want to know. That was my what song that bought like. mitzvahs, Monica. <laughs> Monica is love, so problematic. I my love, God. I just would love to hear Jennifer Love Hewitt sing just one note. You could but hear I can... her sing whenever you wanted to. I only get to sing along to I Will Survive when I Will Survive is playing at any given moment. And I don't live here. You should be so great. <laughs> I heard you sing 40,000 times today. <laughs> and you should be so grateful every single one of those 40,000 times. Okay, before I go to bed tonight, I'll watch that scene of Jennifer Love You. It's and I'm going to sneak in through the window. <laughs> After I will survive. I, I was, was petrified. petrified. Captain, can I, I can just never pop up without you by I will side. never know. I'm just gonna hide under the bed. So many and say, thinking how I will me wrong, and I'll go strong. And I learned how, how to get along. I know you're back. I'm <laughs> out of space. <laughs> I'm just wondering how our listeners are feeling about today's episode. Please, re- hey, so Chelsea, can you sing more every how you're episode? Feeling. Chelsea, official singer of the pod, could you release an album? <laughs> what? For you guys? Okay. If you insist. <laughs> if you want. Yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> anyway, so we're back Sydney, to the movie. Sydney, could you produce? <laughs> Do you remember when? Yeah. Monica, <laughs> will you beatbox? Yeah. <laughs> What about me seems like I could be Fox <laughs> for not doing that. Monica, I need you to rip a spread real quick. This is Sydney just is like the moment in the movie. I'm back closed. to the movie. You guys are being so, so irresponsible. In the movie, there's a moment where Tyrell is being like, come on, Julie, let's dance. And she's like, my people only do this. They don't know how to dance. Earlier today, we were listening to <laughs> Brat in the car, and I was literally going like this. Yeah. And I was like, that's the least cool thing I could possibly be doing to Charlie X. That's like the sitting running man. It's Brett Summer, I baby. I was driving, so I was we, like. We were pumping that, okay? Bumping that. She's bumping that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bump. you got to be bumping that. Um, anytime there's something green in the movie, <laughs> Sydney said, that's Brett. Brett Summer. Brett, Brett Summer. Summer. <laughs> My nails are green. Can you guys see? That's Brett Summer. Brett Summer. My walls are green. <laughs> Brett Summer. Brett Summer. <laughs> Um, anyway, what else do we talk about in this fucking movie? Oh, remember that part when Tyrell was running his mouth being like, blah, 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 blah. This is dumb. I'm upset. And then he got hooked through the neck. Yeah. Sad. Remember that part where Brandy fell through glass? And then remember that other part where Where Brandy fell fell through glass? glass? And And then remember that other part? part? Like back to back to back to. Wait. Hold on, you made a brat reference. Back to back. To back. Okay. No, <laughs> okay. Brat summer. Brat summer. <laughs> but that is not what I was saying wait to, but then I okay. came up. Oh, what no. I was saying wait to is that we missed a part that actually is very interesting. Okay, the movie is all interesting. But this part was particularly interesting because I totally forgot about it. Okay. The part when um, be really Ben starts fucking around with them specifically instead of just everyone around them. Mm. And he locks um, Julie James in the... Tanning bed. Tanning bed. And I was like, oh, that's so interesting because I always thought that I just forgot about that. And I just feel like that did inspire Final Destination Had for to. sure. Um, but it was also really fucking frustrating because that was like the stupidest way I've ever seen anyone try to save anyone from anything ever. She's in like an electronic box mm. of glass. And mm. I think it's Tyrell I, uh, yeah. grabs yeah. a fucking giant weight and just starts smashing it to pieces. Girl, she's laying on glass and light bulbs and electric, like, the- and also too, like, that's so fucking dumb. It wouldn't open. I had to smash it. You could just turn it off. You could un- There's unplug, it. unplug it. But also too, like, she wasn't in there that long, and uh, they could have ran, and she would have just gotten a nice tan while they cut the thing. Like, I know. IMDb trivia said in the gym scene. Carla takes Julie to a tanning bed and sets the dial to 30 minutes. Which is... With as pale as Julie was, 30 <laughs> minutes would have been a dangerous amount of time. Yeah. So the zip tie to keep her inside was more about the exposure and less about being trapped. To be mm. clear, it was... Sunburn about to death. 
three minutes, minutes. that she was in there. Yeah, so. but then he turned the dial to more minutes, you guys. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't change anything. <laughs> how many that doesn't she's change. Been in there. That just changes how long she's gonna be in there later on, or how long it's on. Yeah. She's gonna get a melanoma. It's a long. He's playing the long game. He's the long oh game. my god! You he's guys are her not thinking smart. <laughs> it's about torturing her, which is why we gaslight her with the body of the deckhand Derek in her wardrobe. He cleaned that up so fast. He learned from his father. He's mm-hmm. really good at that. They're all really good at that. Well, it helps that there's two of them now. I think probably. Yeah. yeah. Maybe there was always two of them. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> That that blew Adam's mind. Adam yeah. is gasping outside. It's crazy. Wow. 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 That was pretty crazy. Wow. Well, that's it. But yeah, I mean, it is <laughs> fucked up. Okay. <laughs> it is fucked up that um, they did that to Julie and made her look crazy. And Tyrell went, this bitch crazy, 5,000 times until shit started happening to Brandy as well. He was so annoying. And then he was, like, really nice about it. He was so horny. He was, which I can relate to. Yeah, I mean, he thought he was going on romantic trip with his girlfriend, and then he had to sleep in a bed with everybody. And also lots of murders. That was (laughs) really funny. I did really like the part when they were all sleeping. Should we recreate that with Adam? I like this, actually, so that's fine with me. I, the I'm more people ben. in the bed to snuggle. No, Will. That sorry. means, yeah, Adam is over there as Julie James. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm Carla. Mm-hmm. And you're Tyro. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's time for the three-way kiss tier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For $10 a month. For $10 Should a month. Should we do it? <laughs> Should we do it? Um, okay. Should we do a little key? Should we do a little line? Oh my god, no. It's that summer. <laughs> it's summer. <laughs> um, okay, what else can we talk about with this movie? That happens. Brandy does fall through a lot of glass. They go upstairs a lot of times. You're never be. supposed to go upstairs. But there is a hurricane outside. <laughs> the globe reveal is one of the best parts of the movie because, that, that okay. That was so bizarre. The globe oh, reveal yeah. is so weird. Go. <laughs> well, the whole premise of the movie is that they win radio contests by guessing the capital of Brazil to go on this trip to the Bahamas. Um, and they say Rio de Janeiro, which, as it turns out, is not the capital of Brazil. Who knew? Um, not the capital. Not me. I'm really. Hey Siri, what's <laughs> the capital of Brazil? Hey Adam. Brasilia. What's the capital of Brazil? Brasilia. <laughs> it is right. It it's is Brasilia. right. Brasilia. Well, why would Siri lie? Yeah. Sorry, it's her I job. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hello, my fans. <laughs> Beyonce come, of the pod. Wait, wait, come be over there and look facing away and be like annoyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you okay, are with us on. at all times. No, like for like there, over here, yeah. like over right like, here. And okay, pretend you're like annoyed and you're trying to sleep. Oh, wow, we did wow. it. We crushed it. We, <laughs> we did, did it. it. Wow. Wow. Thank you for being Thank a prop. You, Adam. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> we recreated part of the film. <laughs> People are going to really like that. Yeah, that's going to go crazy. The listeners that's are going to really crazy. respond well to that. Now that he's fiancé of the pod, he must engage more. Uh, uh, I, like, oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I really think that the in-person episodes are episode's really good. This going really well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think this is our best okay, one yet. Yeah. So the capital is Brasilia. <laughs> it's Brasilia. And they got it wrong, but they were like, yay. Um, and then they get to the hotel later on, and there's a globe spinning ominously in the background after why all of these murders. And why is going it spinning on, and it's like on its own? Spinning back and forth like that. It's like changing it's directions. I thought there was going to be a dead body inside of it. <laughs> Surprise. That was like throwing like off its centrifugal yeah. force. Or something. They did do that with the washing machine where yeah. they're like, oh, yeah. it's an uneven load. Um, and then it was. Monica was like, I hope Claire, a body part doesn't shoot out of it. Because her shoes. In the beginning, the beginning right the shoes shoot, shoot out. out. I was like, it's her head. Right into them. her hands. And she goes, I love when it does that. See, that's what I mean. They're like <laughs> trying to do all these like cunty little things, and I'm like, and it's shoe, it shoes in a dishwasher, and and they're a dishwasher. In a, in a shoes in a dishwasher. My God. Anyway, she it's, sees on the map. She's like, wait a second. And then they have someone reveal that's not even the capital. You dumb bitches. Like, wow. 
How, why are we here? Idiots. That yeah. was such a funny really rubbed it in. <laughs> They're like, you're not only are you about to fucking die, but also you don't even know the capital, capital of, of Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> But also, we didn't know the <laughs> capital of Brazil. I bet there are people watching the movie in theaters, though, who was like, that's not right. Yeah. That- oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, they're like, is that, is that a plot point? Brazil or yet. do the suspicious? writers not know what they're talking about? And then they knew right away that it they're was like, this is suspicious. Ben's design. Dun, dun, dun. Here's something else to talk about. Um, When he's like, uh, Julie, my name is Will Benson, like Ben's son. son. Drop the mic. <laughs> Brat. Um, Brat. IMDb <laughs> trivia was like, that's true, but also his real last name is Willis. And if you put that name and the other last name together, it's like, Will is Ben's son. <laughs> So it's a double whammy. That's literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard <laughs> wow. in my entire life. I'm so sorry. But, but his like, name's just Will it's Willis. Not the slay you think it is. I don't think Willis is his real last. Well, I don't think Ben is his real first name. Mm. Ben is the dad's name. Yeah. I don't. Will is. We don't know what his real first name is. Yeah. What's Will's real last Willis? name? Steve Benson. Mm. Willis Benson. Willis Benson. Willis Benson. Well, Willis his real last name is Willis. Ben. Yeah. Son. I think it's Will Willis. Will Willis. I think it's Steve. And I think there's a lot of supporting evidence for this. About <laughs> there's that. so much. I've got to say, <laughs> still, that the Ben Sun thing and him saying it so cunty. Ben Sun? So you stupid. haven't put it together, you dumb a bitch. Hey, Julie, you're a fucking idiot. I'm going to kill you, and I just want to let you know you don't even know the capital of Brazil and Ben Sun. You didn't get that? You're that so it was a reference to the killer guy stupid. you thought was Ben. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> It was, that's, it was crazy. He's like, we dug the grave already. It's right there. Just jump in. Jump the fuck Just in. jump in. That was all a favor. End your own life. <laughs> just was so fun. It's just so funny. In the pouring I rain. I screamed when that part happened. It's very that. weird that he picked the grave right next to his mom and sister, though. He said, we're one big family, and There's, I'd like us all to be together. It's just a stunt queen, because they knew that it was going to come out. I mean, it is kind of a sleigh. To have it dug out and have her name on there. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, the it was spray funny. painting is really good. It should have been that green slays. for Brett Summer. We'll Photoshop. Okay. Thank God. Fuck that green. No, no, <laughs> Thank we God. have to. Oh, my God. I just, I'm still not over the Ben Sun thing. I just thought that was, I just, it was the funniest thing I've ever heard. So, actually, I loved it. I'm really <laughs> glad that it's in there. I really, I'm really glad that it's in there. But that mm. just shows how, you know, Will seemed all cute. No, yeah, Will. Sorry, yeah. I got confused. Will seems all cute. Will, You're talking about Rufus from Gossip Girl. Rufus from Gossip Girl. Rufus Humphrey. Yeah. Oh. Dan's daddy. Jenny's dad. What? Same dad. Same dad. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't put that together until now. <laughs> No, we said it. <laughs> I no, I didn't understand what you were saying. I guess we just said dad from Gossip Girl, and there's oh. more than one in Gossip yeah, Girl. I don't know. Yeah. I just didn't know why you guys were talking about Gossip Girl. And- <laughs> I, I She's like, I did not put that on. together. Sure. I was sure, just sure. trying to hear Jennifer Love Hewitt sing, <laughs> and they wouldn't uh, let me. <laughs> and we're never gonna let you actually. Do something better. You're welcome. She's such a, a gift hater. for Monica. I okay. Here's something. After all of these trials and all of these tribulations, Freddie Prince Jr. arrives. Thank God. <laughs> and then he just gets last possible minute. Last, last possible, possible, possible minute. second. He really timed it well, honestly. He I'm shocked he was able to find them. He traversed seas that yeah. were hurricane seas. It's very impressive. Luckily, he's a seaman. A seaman. Um, and then, but he's not a leathered seaman. Thank yeah, God. He's thank not God, because his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> He's not he's not a shooter though. That's very clear. He doesn't know his way. He's he doesn't lover. have those he's Twitter a lover, fingers. Not a fighter. He just he he doesn't botch it. I don't want to be mean. I won't be mean to him because Freddie Prince Jr. I'll be mean to Will Benson. But yes. he went to the pawn shop guy and he said, Can you please load it? But a little meaner than that. And the guy loaded it, but he didn't explain. I only put four bullets in the six chambers. I don't know. Oh no. Uh because Julie's firing him up. There was eight on. shots in the six chamber. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. crazy. I was like, so, maybe the safety's on. And he was like, revolvers don't have safeties. I was like, oh my God, she knows so much. Wow. She's so knowledgeable. The gun knowledgeable person of the pod. 
left that for you. Yeah, I just felt bad that, you know, he couldn't slay in that moment when he had been working. It would have so been a hard. slay. But he was not allowed to slay in that moment because he got off so easy in the first movie. No, totally. He had to get beat down one more time. Um, but I thought it was great that Julie James got to well, go ham and be final girl and, and go pop I, pow, pow. I loved that, you know, he was supposed to get hooked in the heart and then he went, uh, psych. And Ben killed his own son. Yeah. Ben's son. Sad. Ben killed Ben's son. Yeah. Ben killed Ben's son. What that had been his last words? <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben killed Ben's son. Kill ben, ben, ben killed Ben's son. <laughs> ben, ben, kill ben's son. <laughs> ben. Ben killed <laughs> time of night every episode <laughs> how does Stephen colbert do it i don't know just so you know i technically do this every single time I we record how you do it i don't know how you do I'm it i'm delirious all the time we bring in some great content so thank you for putting in the hard work but really beautiful performance never there, forget Jesse. this now when you're like oh, late night Never forget this, Monica. Yeah, you guys <laughs> never want to do weekend mornings. I'm perfectly happy to do weekend mornings. I will do mornings, that all the time. So. <laughs> Sometimes I can't. Do <laughs> Sometimes I want to spend the weekend doing other stuff than the podcast. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to spend all you your mean? time with us? Every day I say, can I do podcasts today? <laughs> can I do can the I podcast? Do no. Podcast I do. Please. <laughs> please, podcast. Please, uh, podcast please. today. <laughs> podcast. What other things should we talk about in the movie before we go Is there the more movie to talk about? No. There oh, the that end, end, that the end, end scene. Why do they keep doing that shit? Yeah. I wait, They're before like, that, oh. I do like when Julie's like, just fucking die. Oh wait, funny. hold on. What was we we got her uh when she was in the rain in the white shirt and she did the Oh yeah. ah! she didn't do what are you waiting for, but it was like but I'm right here yeah. in the exact same like cadence and stuff. It was, I was made a joking. Good joke. I was joking that this whole movie was directed by that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who directed they brought him the, back. What are you the waiting for? Yeah. Yeah. Hit because of that moment they said, We gotta get that kid. We yeah. gotta get that Where's kid back. Where's that kid, that kid back? Honestly, we need some of the energy that that little boy was bringing. To <laughs> I heard project. a rumor that he's going to direct the new one with Camila Mendez. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I yeah. like her, though. So I'm excited to I see like her. Too. I'm excited for that, too. I'm really excited for that. I'm probably and not going to watch it. Uh, the girl from Outer Banks. I haven't watched Outer Banks, so I didn't recognize either of those other two folks on there. But yeah, so. I know what you did last <laughs> summer. summer. We'll continue mm -hmm. next summer because in 2025 is when they're supposed to release mm -hmm. this, this follow-up film. So, Madeline Klein. Mm. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I hope it's good. And Guy from be bad. Um, live action Little Mermaid. Oh. And who's that? She's familiar. I don't know. Sarah Pigeon? What do I know her from? I don't recognize her at all, but she's really pretty. I swear I just watched a TV show with her, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, there's more more stuff coming with the IP. They won't let it die. Just like maybe Ben didn't die. I don't know what happens in the third one, honestly. honestly I don't know if Ben didn't die. I'm scared for the third I one. Know. I really? know a little bit, but I'll refrain from saying it. I know nothing please, about please the third don't one. tell me because I want to go in blind. I'm completely blind. Because I'm sure it's going to be so good. She's in the wilds. Which is a gay TV show. Oh. It's a little bit gay, but it's a lot gay in subtext. Mm. Is it? It's a lot gay in the fanfic. Is that fic? about girls who are stuck on yeah. an island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, read yeah, the yeah, book yeah. of that. Oh. Of course you did. A long time ago, though, so don't mm. ask me what happened. Okay. We won't. But I remember it being gay. And it got canceled. Is there canceled. like a pandemic mm. or something? No. No. Not a pandemic. Moving on. Well, they do all get sick at one point because they eat bad muscles or something. Maybe I'm conflating it with something else. Anyway, I'm also excited for the troop, and I feel like that's related. So keep that in mind if you're looking for things to watch years from now. Wait for one because it's coming soon. But anyway, oh, and the writer for the new one is Jen Caton Robinson, who I love. Who, did, who she did Do Revenge, yeah, which is oh. a lot of fun. But she did one of my favorite TV shows, Sweet Vicious. 
Oh. I like Sweet Vicious. Maybe okay, fine. Do. That's going to be good. Um, I feel like that'll actually be good. It'll be a step in a different direction than this movie. Well, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Before we get to the very end, end part, I do want to say that I'm really glad that Carla survived. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, 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 if yeah, they yeah, killed yeah, Brandy, yeah. I would find them. Riot. We'd go nuts. We'd ride at dawn. Yeah. So she needed to survive. And it would have been like almost silly if Freddie Prince Jr. and and Jennifer Love Hewitt were still the only two survivors. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like letting one more person survive because they were able to up the body count with all of the hotel people. Um, balances out. It balances out. It's like more people died, but also more people survived, and it makes it more believable that your two like legacy characters get to continue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Fair. Totally fair. Um. Okay. Yeah. Then they do another little like silly little ending to be. If it, it feels like Friday the Thirteenth kind of vibes. A like, bit. Oh, it's all over. <clears throat> But, but is it a zombie or something like that? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But same, is it? Same thing as the last one. But okay, how much of a flash forward do you think that that is? Because I do think they make them look not necessarily Freddie Prince Jr., but I think they make Jennifer Love Hewitt look like sufficiently more mature. Not that yeah. she looks old or anything. She just looks like more mature. Like vibes are like five years later. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it's giving five years later. They own a home now. They just bought a house. They're engaged or they're or married because she was like looking at her ring. ring on her finger. And, and they've got big teddy bear. So that's how you know. Giant teddy bear. My God. In love. In love. That's their son. They've had that's a son. That's their son. They've it's had a, a son. large bear. Um, a clear reference to Bring It On. Freddie Prince Jr. is brushing his teeth. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's a through line. Uh, it's a through, through line. line. He actually looked a lot like that guy in yeah, that scene. He did. Jesse the toothbrush. Bradshaw. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not Bradford. Gonna... Bradford. I'm, I'm going something. It's Charbert or Ferd. <laughs> Charbert or Ferd. Okay. <laughs> Jesse. I'm at the Brad. end of my rope. Uh, Bradford. It's Bradford. Bradford. It's Bradshaw's Bradford. Bradshaw. Carrie, Carrie Bradshaw. Bradshaw. That's why Close. I was like, it seems That's why I was like, it's Bradshaw for sure. <laughs> He was the star. He was the star. Oh my God. He was the star. Carrie Bradshaw would love Brat Summer. Yeah. Wow. She's bumping it. Bumping it. She's bumping that. Bumping that. Mm. But yeah, I thought that that ending was also <laughs> annoying once again, just like the last yeah. little fake out ending. It's But okay, the one thing I did like about it is it brought back the urban legend vibe that I liked so much at the beginning of the first one when they're all telling the urban legend of like the hook handed man thing. And I loved that so much. There was one other point in the movie, too, that also yeah, reminded me. Yeah, I was just trying me. to remember I'm what that was. I'm trying to remember. But there are two points that reminded oh, me. Oh, it was when they were in the storm shelter with Nancy. Oh, and Julie James like, was being like, hold my hand. Oh, hand, yeah. Hand. yeah. I am. And, and Carla, not Brandy, Carla was like, I am. And Julie was like, no, you're not. And she was holding a corpse's hand. It was Claire's hand. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Claire had been moved from the washer into the storm shelter for some they reason. They moved them around just to spook everybody out again. I don't understand why they have the time to Lots do this Lots of manual right? labor happening. But basically it reminded me of this this spooky story, which I'll tell you in a bridge version of it now. This is another one that don't I would Don't get too hear. scared, though, don't okay, get too guys? Scared. I need one of those flashlights. But the spooky story <laughs> was there's a very long, long, long version of this. Oh, my God. Oh, will I tell the whole story now? <laughs> um, well, basically, there's this girl, and she's home alone, and she's had Ooh. a long night, and she's very sleepy, um, she and she she goes to take a little nap with her little dog. She has a cute little dog, <gasps> and she's laying there, and she falls asleep peacefully to the feeling of her dog licking her hand as he did every <laughs> night as she went to sleep. And she, this is really getting visceral here. And so she wakes up and she's like, ugh, let me go to the bathroom. And as she walks to the bathroom, she looks through a window and she sees her next door neighbor and her next door neighbor is like waving at her, like get out of the house, get out of the house. And she's like, what the fuck? And so she like gets up, she goes downstairs and she runs out of the house, and her neighbor is like, there's a man in your house. And she's like, what are you talking about? And so the police come. Something happens. He either gets away or they get him. Depends on the version of the story. But she goes into the house, and they're like, yeah, there was a man here. And she was like, there couldn't have been a man here. Like, like, like what are you talking about? And then it's revealed that her dog had been killed and <clears> stabbed <throat> and dead 
and actually there was a man underneath her bed licking, licking her, her hands uh, like uh, her dog. Uh, I didn't tell it that well. I'm really sorry. I forgot a lot of the details. And I was trying to remember that as I was doing it. I wasn't prepared. But did and also our there was a lot of yeah. licking <laughs> sounds happening next week. It was week. adding to the story. Yeah, it, was to the, it was an a value add, but it added. It, it made me just anxious. Like, Twisters 4D. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. When there's a lot of licking sounds. But basically, <laughs> the hand thing reminded me of that. And then also at the very end, she like can see in the window that the, the guy, reflection. Yeah. The reflection of Ben. He's underneath her bed and pulls her under or whatever. So that really reminded me of that. So I do like that it brought up those urban legend vibes again. But is it a dream? I kind of yeah. think it is a dream and it's meant to mirror what we now know was a dream. Now know. Yeah. It was retconned at least. Yeah. It was a dream at the end of the first movie to be like, even if they do move forward, this She's always going to be haunted by yeah. this. Because they still murdered a man. They did a bad thing. They still did a bad thing. And in the book, they killed a child. <laughs> <laughs> Also, one Not more funny. thing about the book before we move into our segments, um, they like were really hounded on Elsa in the book. Oh my god, Elsa Helen's sister. Half the book is them being like, Elsa fucking sucks so <laughs> bad, and she's so ugly compared to her sister. And not only is she <laughs> ugly. Visually, her personality is so <laughs> ugly. Like, literally, it's it's vicious. It's so fucking mean. And they all are like, can't stand her so much that they're like, I think that Elsa shot Barry. I think <laughs> that it's her. <laughs> and she's totally a cunt in the movie, for sure. But like... <laughs> but did she deserve this? Yeah, I mean, like, wow. It was, it's fucked up. It's honestly fucked up. They, and they, they handle it, like, very... Like, Poorly. Poorly and very, like, you know, dated ways that they, like, describe her whole character. But it was just an insane red herring. <laughs> I'd be like, actually, it's You know Elsa. when someone has such whack vibes that you just can't help but think they probably would do a they murder? They probably <laughs> shot this guy. They're probably doing murder. This girl probably. absolutely shot Barry. She's, probably She's so got nothing jealous. else going on in her She's life. She's literally so ugly. Of course she shot Barry. Is she, to do murder. She's so ugly and her personality <laughs> sucks. sucks so bad. And she hates her sister so much, she definitely shot her sister's boyfriend. That tracks. I think so. Elsa did it. <laughs> Booker. <laughs> There's like a line that's like, Ray's, le Ray's like, as lovely as Helen is, Elsa is the opposite. <laughs> A hag or something like that. I'm like, oh my god. I was like, Louise Duncan, I love you, but girl, like, hold up on Elsa. Just give Elsa a moment to breathe. You here. don't know Elsa like the author knows Elsa. Maybe she really was she awful. Apparently we don't really call people hags sucked. enough anymore. She really fucking sucked. So I just thought that was another funny but unfortunate <laughs> anecdote from the book. You should read it though. Um, <laughs> but anyway, is it time for our? No, I have. Oh, oh. oh I'm. Interrupting. Oh, she's um, really domineering. This sucks. <laughs> 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 Something silly. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my notes in my IMDb trivia notes, and I would like to say confirmed Kevin Williamson not in his flop era because it wasn't just that he was writing Scream Three; it's also that he had scheduling conflicts with Dawson's Creek, The Faculty, <gasps> Halloween H two O twenty years later, and directing Teaching Mrs. Tingle. So he oh, like not in his flop era. Other projects going. Oh on. yeah, he's I wasn't saying booking. that he I know, was I'm writing that. I'm, I'm Gen clarifying Gen for okay. the listener. Okay, good, good, good. Um, he can do no wrong. That's our boy. Also. Freddie Prince Jr., I thought this one was funny. Due to the negative critical reaction to the film upon its release, that is a spoiler for the segments coming up. Um, I already but know. Due, the, know. due yeah. to the negative critical reaction, Freddie Prince Jr. admits that he had never seen the film because of its reputation until March 2024 when he watched the film for the first time for his horror podcast. That was really scary. Hello, Freddie. Would you like to clap? Freddie! But we want to do Scooby Doo. That was the first time he watched it since oh it came God. out, and he admitted he found the movie entertaining. Yeah. It's certainly entertaining. It's very entertaining. I was entertained. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> also, when we were downstairs watching the movie, we were talking about how you you were like Julie really needs to go to therapy, um, and apparently they did film 
a therapy scene, but it was like the church confession scene. Mm. It was also a dream. Yeah, where somebody like bursts through and then kills the therapist or something like that or comes for Julie. And they used both of those as teaser trailers for the movie. Um, but the therapy one did not make it into the final cut. And interestingly, on IMDb trivia, it says that like the um, confession t- teaser like got lost to the science of time is like basically what it said, which is crazy because it's like, it well, that's what's in the movie though. That's in the movie. How did it get so lost? Maybe this is actually just written poorly. Now that I think about it, somebody mm-hmm. wrote that entry because anybody that's can so go on there. Though. That's interesting that they're like, we can only have her go to therapy in her dreams. <laughs> in her dreams. Well, if you went to therapy in your dream and somebody tried to kill you every time, maybe you would go, this is a sign that therapy is not for me. Maybe I shouldn't be you doing should just this. just do Zoom therapy. Yeah. They could come through the computer screen, Monica. Think. Scooby, do in the sky. Think. Cyber <laughs> dog. <laughs> okay, it's time for our segmentos. Ooh, she said it right up in her <laughs> face. Bonk. Bonk. I bonked her. <laughs> no, I got me bonk. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. <laughs> I have okay. Segmentos. Our first. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> she I'm licked. Me. She licked me. <laughs> Those are not our microphones. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Um, okay, how could this movie be gayer? I mean, that was pretty gay right there. So you've got Julie, Carla, great. girlfriends, Nancy, lesbian. Yes. Okay. Julie and Carla, girlfriends. Yes, but I love Ray, and so I don't want him to be out of the picture. I love Ray. Sorry, say what you want. I'm just gonna be honest about myself. I think that Rebel. Carla should have been like, "Oh my God, Tyrell's dead," and then na- save done everything for Nancy to save Nancy's life and then they <laughs> run away together. Okay. And okay. That's that's what Carla Nancy for. ship. I'm willing to buy into this. Yeah. Carla and Nancy together forever. Mm-hmm. Um I like that. Being there was a moment skewered. though where Carla and Julie had like a little kissy. Oh they did have their little kissy. That was sweet. They had a little mm. sweet kissy. Right. Before. Friends have little kissy sometimes. Friends have little kissy all sometimes. The time. But only but if they're gay. Mm. True. True. We have little kissies sometimes, and and we're gay. We're all gay. We're all yeah. gay. <laughs> so. And that's oh just the facts, Jack. Uh, but I love I, science. I think that in STEM. <laughs> it seemed like the classic. My shoes are about to shoot out of the dryer. Kissy, yeah. you know what I mean? Kind of platonic. To me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't charged. <laughs> the classic, that classic are about kiss to shoot you give your kissy. good friend <laughs> before your shoes pop out of the dryer. Dryer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know what I mean? We've all been there. We've, we've all, all been, been there. there. We'll be there. It again. happens all the time. It happens all the time. Um, but yeah, I think that Carla should be one of them that is gay. Julie, she. Visually was so lesbian to me, a hundred percent. And I also felt that way about Nancy. Yes, she was talking about. Oh, that's who I meant. Also, oh yeah, mm. Carla, I could see. Yeah, bisexual. I think she genuinely, truly wanted to fuck Tyrell. It just the moment wasn't right. Yeah, I think bisexual for yeah. She liked Tyrell, even though he's annoying, but he was really into her. Yeah, but he was also really into everyone because he was checking out. He was ogling all those other. He was too. He ogled another woman. He might have ogled the Brat Summer girl. You did. Yeah. I mean, it's Brat Summer, so I get it. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's a vibrant co- shade of green. Exactly. What are you supposed to do? You can ignore it. Freddie Prince Jr., though, if he wasn't in the picture, that would open things up for Julie James. But I think, as we discussed on our um, first episode for I Know What You Did Last Summer. Summer. Um, Beautiful. He, thank you. Um, he had bisexual potential, and I think we talked about Missy could have been a guy in that movie. Yeah. And his little boyfriend in this movie, Dave, that's his little boyfriend. You yeah. Know what I mean? That's work wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100% his 100%. work wife. 100%. Yeah. And it's like, they're like, that's my work way. If it's casual, it's platonic, blah, 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 whatever. It's a little not platonic. Yeah, like they're you absolutely exploring each other's bodies on the sea. Even if they're not exploring, they do out there? I think they're yearning, they're longing, they're, they're pining. pining. Yeah. I misheard you at first. They're, I heard something horrible. <laughs> they're urinating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Piss play in 2024. <laughs> I thought you said urinating. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> He's like, what did you hear? I don't even know what it could possibly be. Because I have the mind of an innocent. I have the mind of an innocent, which is why I would never be on house arrest. (laughs) To bring it back. To bring it back. 
doesn't yeah. lie. The results Our could listeners. change any time between now and November. <laughs> and I'm relying on them, too. Yeah. Don't for more please. Chelsea please. votes. I call upon you. <laughs> for more <laughs> Chelsea votes. Yeah, I mean, no. and, but no one's going to vote for me, right? <laughs> I'm going to vote for you. Actually, I can't remember if I already voted. <laughs> I think I voted earlier. Did you vote for me? Probably. <laughs> and you're the more likely candidate. You already had a vote. I needed to at least be tied. We got a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. The, the ghost man yeah, thumbs up down. For Sydney being on house arrest. I don't know where it's seeing this. It's the days. ghost. It's the ghost. Um, okay. Are we ready? Any? Do we have any more gay thoughts that we'd like to share? So many gay thoughts. Okay, we're moving it on. It won't to do heart. To Matthew <laughs> Lillard. Maddie Lilly, where would he fit into this movie? And he'd fit so seamlessly once again. He would be an Wait, amazing. Wait, Jack Black gay. Oh, Jack Black gay. Oh, yeah, of course. With Derek, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's trying to find him late at night. Give him some weed. Esther's also bisexual. Mm. Esther's is yeah, bisexual. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a bisexual. Man. I felt an immediate kinship. <laughs> Wait, this is man. actually Kill? an explicit LGBTQIA yeah. getaway. The, 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 it's Nancy a gay Kill resort. It's yeah. so good and brutal, and we didn't talk. We didn't give it its shine when Estes comes in and he's impaled, and then he falls on top of Nancy, and then it impales both of them. He, he's Dabs it through her I, too underneath that, which is also so a little gay. Good. I, w- I mentioned earlier for just a second they were skewered together. Yeah, they were shish like kebab. A kebab. A kebab. It's really sad. Yeah, that's a bad way to go. And I want to know what the fuck that thing was. A trident. Mm, classic trident. Yeah, which is I such a gay way to die. With, I could not tell. <laughs> that's <laughs> a little gay. That's really way to real. die. That's and I don't know why that's true. But, but like a is. trident just seems like a but gay little weapon. True. No, yeah. Poseidon gives bisexual vibe. Oh yeah. Or triton being triton, they're the same thing. It's fine. Same thing. Anyway, I think any more gay thoughts? In mythology, triton is like a son of Poseidon yeah. or something. Yeah. Whatever. Not, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> that's for. I know what you did last summer, next summer, when we do <laughs> the fourth movie, which has um, Prince Eric. Mm, oh. Yes. That's why this is relevant. Yeah, actually. yeah, of course. We're so smart. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are Where you are you going Where's with this? Where is this going? I, 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 don't worry. I am on a journey. I loved it. And we're there. Um, Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. He should be Ben's son. Will, be- Will is Ben's son. <laughs> <laughs> he should be Will yes. is Ben's son. <laughs> I can't believe that's a line. Here's the thing. They'd have to change his name, but obviously I would like to see him with Brandy. Yeah, I do think he could pull Like he could have been Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, he would be really great as a skeezy. IMDb Trivia said that role was originally written as a Latino Latino man. And Brandy's role was originally written for a white girl. Mm. Okay. But then Brandy came in and blew them away. And they said, the role is yours, Brandy. Which tracks. She did so good. Brandy, Queen Brandy. Brandy, who do you want to be? Your boyfriend. And she said, the boy is mine. Also, he uh, could have been Jack Black. Is mine. Yeah, obviously. He, he could have been Jack Black. But, like, but no, dreads. Jack Black. Yeah. no dreads. Yeah. No dreads. No dreads. No dreads really if he's going to do that, that role. I think um, today, years old, Matthew Lillard could be Brooks, the hotel guy, who's, like, mm. kind of cunty bitchy. Also gay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or he could be the yeah. grouchy uh, boat driver. Oh, with the the gun later. Yeah, that where he like, yeah holds I him up. I need a boat. Oh, he could have been Dave. <laughs> oh, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Work wife. Oh, yeah. yeah he could have been. He could have been Dave. Like, he could have been the doctor at the hospital who's like, "We've got a flatline in room three. <laughs> where'd he go?" <laughs> well, really? He could have been. Here's the. <laughs> he could have been the old lady weirdly looking at Freddie Prince Jr. on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Are there any characters we haven't mentioned yet? Wait. <laughs> There's a couple people. He could be the on professor. Like, who's that? He could have been the that's, girl that's in the brat Lord. bikini. <laughs> that's He's wearing a little brat. Lime green speedo. Yeah. And Tyrell is like, who is that? Oh my God. Who's that? That's Brad. That's, That's Brad. it. That's it. Wow. That's just- I think we've reached somewhere. I think we've gone deep on this one. And by we, I mean you too. And I just sat here and didn't experience it. You're, you're well. You're welcome. You guys did a really good job of remembering a lot of characters that <laughs> existed in this film. So much. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know how to do text. <laughs> I don't know how to do math, but I boy do I remember. She side can't count characters. the characters, but she yeah. can remember them. You can't. Boy, I can't can I count to hundred. I saw two, an hour ago. I can know the background <laughs> characters. Okay, <laughs> moving on to dumb bitch. Who is the dumb bitch? Okay, unfortunately, I do think it is Carla. It is a little bit Carla. Carla, when you step on a pane of glass <laughs> and it cracks, putting your other foot on top of it as well. And is also usually not the the thing <laughs> that you do. Hers not th- she doesn't do the original sin as we know that is Julie and Ray last movie, mm-hmm. but it's her mistake that puts them in this position. Because she does not realize that she's gotten the answer wrong and that they've accepted it and they're sending her on this trip anyway. And then she's a dumb bitch for not knowing about <laughs> the capital anyone, of Brazil. Anybody who's Everybody anybody knows, knows yeah. about um, Brazilia. Yeah. <laughs> but also, too, like. Julie's a little bit of a dumb bitch, though, too, because she was the one that's like, you gave Tyrell our number, your boyfriend of several months. He could be a stalker. And then someone calls them and says, you won a free trip. Right. And she goes, yay. <laughs> but also, too, for Carla, like, you know, Julie has a boyfriend. And you're just like, well, well she can share a room with yeah, this man. I've never really met him. Annoying. And I know this guy. And he's right here. And we could double date. And that would be fun. She's like, he's like not fun and he's not that interesting and he's you're always having trouble and i'm like okay well valid they have years of trauma that they're right they have a trauma shared bond. trauma bond and so that there's something for that okay carla can't just party rock the pain away i mean you can you but you can, can certainly try. absolutely can party <laughs> rock the pain away brat 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 you can brat get away for a little bit at least mm-hmm. yeah you at she least try is trying her best she's not a bad person but she is. She's a, a little dumb. dumb. She's a little dumb. We have to give an anti-dumb bitch nomination to Will is Ben's son because I bet Slay. he thought that one up on his own. He said, oh, oh this is going to I have the best pseudonym this to use. This is going to fuck and they're going to love it. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> and they're gonna go crazy. They're going to feel so stupid when they didn't figure blah, blah, it blah, out. Blah. like, Dad, I had an idea last night. Dad and Daddy. Ben's like, okay, dude. He's like, whatever. He's I like, honestly, you're giving island. it away. I couldn't give less of a fuck about that. <laughs> I just want to do some murders. <laughs> he's just figuring things out, and he's just working on his cunty wordplay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it shows that all it's villains just the need cunty wordplay. Journey. But Ben, unfortunately, the end of his journey. All villains so. need some cunty wordplay. It's very important. You have to have, give a little speech. Mm-hmm. And then get killed while you're exactly. doing it. Exactly. Exactly. It's very important. Exactly. Okay, that brings us to our, our knives out of fives. And mm. I bet this has a really high score. <laughs> it's on so high, videos. right? Does it yeah, not? Yeah, about the hot Remember when I said earlier, oh, spoiler for segments. Um, This movie was crazy. Not that well received. What? Um, on IMDb it's trivia. Ironclad. Yeah. Um, on IMDb trivia, it has four point eight out of ten. Uh huh. But on Rotten Tomatoes, um, and again, Rotten Tomatoes, the way it works, this percentage reflects the amount of critics who gave it thumbs up versus thumbs down. But um, it has seven percent <laughs> from critics, That's which kind of means the lowest we've done. Yeah. Like one critic said, it was okay. It was fine, baby. Not even good. It was okay. And then the rest of them were like, Meh. that doesn't mean that they thought it was only 7% good. It just means that they gave it a failing score. So they could have been like 50% movie, like two and a half out of five stars, which is not abysmal. Yeah. But it does mean. It's they, a got, stinker. they got the thumbs down 7% from critics on Rotten Tomatoes. However, from audiences, much higher number, 29%. However, however again, awards um, at the 1999 Blockbuster Arazi? Entertainment Awards. <laughs> well, we'll get there. Oh. Um, at the 1999 Blockbuster Entertainment Awards, it won Favorite Actress Horror for Jennifer Love Hewitt. It won Favorite Supporting Actor Horror for Freddie Prince Jr. And it was also nominated for Favorite Actress Horror for Brandy. Mm-hmm. 
Hey. And at the 1999 MTV Movie and TV Awards, it was nominated for Best Breakthrough Female Performance for Brandy. Deserved. And at the 1999 Teen Choice Awards, it won Film Choice <laughs> Actress for... Ooh, balloons. It won. <laughs> it won! And it won Film Choice Actress for Jennifer Love Hewitt. It was nominated for film most disgusting scene mm. for the tanning bed attack scene. What? How is that disgusting? I think they just meant like scary, uh, uh. but I think um, they must have come up with an enticing name for that category that they, they just meant like best horror scene is my guess or best okay. scary scene. I would not pick that um, one. No. Didn't win though, right? It did not win. It was only nominated. Yeah, that's And it was fair. also nominated for... Um, Film choice sleaze bag mm? for Matthew Settle, who plays um, Will Will Benson, mm. um, and Will then Benson. not the Razzies, but at the 1998 Stinkers Bad Movie Awards, <laughs> that's it the did, best one. Yeah, that's it did so important. Win worst sequel. Oh, it won. It won worst sequel. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what other sequels it was up against. Let me actually research that because I'm very curious about that now. I'm, I'm very curious about what I gave the first one. Let us see. Yeah, what did I give the first one? Let's look and see. Because here's the thing. Me a For one scene, I would give it a five out of five. Which scene? Freddie Prince Jr. in his Henley top with his oh. flannel. <laughs> that gets a five Oscar. out of five. I I want to rewatch that Oscar. all the time. Uh but I think, and I feel, like I might have to give this a three out of five. Yeah, I can't get there. I'm literally logged out. Of I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I'm just looking for worst sequel right now. Oh, uh, that's the only one it mentions. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the only one nominated in one. Oh, Barney's Great Adventure. It was the I only one nominated in Worst song in a mu motion picture. Ooh. For I love you. That's fucked up. I Why is Spice movie? World's nominated for anything on here? Spice Up Your Life is a great song. Yeah, that's a great. Uh, I agree. This right awards jail. show clearly does not know what right they're to jail. talking about. All Spice Girl movies are bangers. Okay. Our scores from okay, I Know okay. What You Did Last Summer. Sydney gave it a four. Monica gave it a 4.8. I gave it a four. And Josh from Super, Sp Super Scary Podcast gave it a 4.5. Yeah, I'm sticking with my three out of five because it's bad, but I had a good time. I think I'm right there with you, honestly. Like, this is a huge departure from the first one for me, so it warrants oh, three. Three. a huge departure. I, I gave it an extra point five, I guess, out of generosity of spirit. Mm. Wow. Love from yeah. my heart. For maybe. me. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm giving it a three as yeah. well. Okay. Just, okay. I just it's like, uh, what are you pointing out to me? <laughs> I transcribed it <laughs> perfectly. Yeah, I just I think it's really funny and it's really fun that it does like like what's the craziest thing we could do? Let's go to the Bahamas. Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I love that they do that, but like that doesn't mean it's good. You know, said, just because I love it doesn't mean it. it's good. I think Spooky yeah. Tuesday should go to the Bahamas. I would love. I would that. love to win a radio contest for free Bahamas trip. And then um, we fight for our lives. You would have to do that. I can't win any radio contest. I don't want that last part. I don't want to have to fight for my life. I want I'm down. Nice but then it, it could be one of those things like. Um, like a fun dinner play. I want to say even play. Steven's movie where it's revealed it was a reality TV show the whole time. I or it could be like the. Or it could, could be like the Brady Bunch. Fuck a fish. We get it. <laughs> or it could be like the Brady Bunch where we find a cursed <laughs> talisman. <laughs> <laughs> and then Monica fucks a fish. Okay, here's what I want. I want to go turned into a fish, opposite Little Mermaid, and then fucks a fish. I saw The Shape of Water, and it changed me. <laughs> is what I'm. Monica saying. remembers watching what Sword in the Stone, where he gets turned into a little fish. I don't remember that part, <gasps> honestly. Here's here's something conversely similar but different. We go to Spooky Island. I would love that. And then we do what happens in Spooky Scooby Doo. And I'll do think the about little it. dance into a cult. Sugar Ray is gonna be there. I love so Sugar Ray. Why would you turn it Every down? morning there's a Seriously, that's from the best the part. Of my I guess bed. I'm gonna go with um what my heart and gut and instinct said it wanted, which is three point five. Yeah. Because if Fair. neither of you are giving that, that score and I wrote it down, it wants to be there somewhere. It wants yeah. to be there. It wants Listen to be there your somewhere. Heart. 
Listen to and your I heart have fun when it's calling, calling for you. you. A lot of singing. <laughs> a lot of singing. Do you remember when that song was like everywhere? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I fucking loved that song. I still love that song. I remember like walking around a Halloween store actually and just like singing that song in my head. <laughs> oh my god. Remember when you guys put jar jar of hearts on at the engagement party? Collecting your jar of hearts. <laughs> and who do you think you are? <laughs> Running down the God. It's very important to have a dramatic song. It's very important. Uh, yeah, I think that that's a fair score. You know, Jack Black gives it that extra point five. I think Jack Black gives it that extra half point. It yeah. gives it that pizzazz. A little pizzazz. It desperately needed it. It needed a little bit of that. But I wish that it didn't have white person dread. <laughs> <laughs> no. It, there are other ways. Well, to do I that. wish there was more Freddie Pinch Jr. and his Henley and a little sweaty. I didn't miss him. She doesn't love Freddie Prince Jr. But I like do. him, but we do. I don't like we Ray do. that much. No, Ray sucks, but Freddie Prince Jr. Sexy, sexy. There, the Henley scene. I was like, okay, okay, I get it, I get it girl. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, well, do we have any other words to say about? I still know what you did last summer. <laughs> nope. 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 No. If you recall, I know what you did last summer. We'll return in about a month's time, the first <laughs> Tuesday of September. We will do the third one, and we will be really scared because we don't know what it's <gasps> about, and it doesn't have the same cast. It's called I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer, Ooh. and per IMDb trivia, when Ben Willis was falling into the open grave, there was a moment in the script that didn't make it into the movie where he was like, I'll always be with you, Julie James, or Ooh. something like that. So, That's But uh, then again, that as kind we've of discussed, fucks. Julie James is not in that movie. So, um, so they cut. I just don't understand how it's a whole different other cast and it exists when the whole thing is that it's supposed to be hearkening back to... That we'll just have to see first summer. No spoilers. <laughs> we'll just no, have to see. Nothing. I don't know. We'll just we'll just have to see, and it'll certainly be a movie that we all view. It will certainly so. be a movie. That's it for will sure. Certainly be a movie that exists. Um, but next week, we are. I'm gonna say what I think we're doing next week. I think you get. And, yeah. and then okay, I think you're good. gonna know. Okay, good. We're doing long legs. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. These two bitches both saw it. This bitch. Did not want to wait for me on a Friday night. She said, I must go Friday afternoon. I couldn't go in the night. I could only go during she the said, day. Fuck you, Chelsea. I I'm say, going now. She did actually say I that I was there. Say, Fuck you, if Chelsea, you join the Patreon it. and you look in the Discord, I bet you could find that exact message. Yeah, I was there. I'm in the Discord. I did not say that. And Chris would set me up. <laughs> Chelsea, we're not friends Another anymore. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> and I, Chris. Chris, and we I love don't you. want to see a movie with you. I'm That's going what I alone. said. That's I what said, she wrote. In she said, going she I don't want to go Chelsea. to the valley. Fuck you. No, I hope you die. You were in Porter Ranch. <laughs> uh, <is it> Northridge? <laughs> okay, well, either way, that's asking a lot. <laughs> You're like, I'm free after 9 p.m. in Northridge if you want to come. And I was like, a very reasonable timeline and location for me. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. Anyway, I saw it by myself and I was so brave. And then I made friends with the girl who happened to be sitting next to me, who was also seeing it by herself. Shout and out to we that girl. Both were surprised by the film and the, t the turns that it took. And so I'm very excited to watch it again because I had really, like, I had expectations of what I thought this would be that I didn't realize that I had because it really has a really interesting. Um, trailer layout like the marketing was very vague and mm -hmm. and you went out of your way to not watch the trailer I went out of my way to not watch the Me final too. trailer we yeah. went to see um, Maxine with Danny Dennett who's been on this podcast twice before and when the trailer came on Monica was like turning to us and talking over it I and talked was, like, the whole yeah, time and they're like really why are you talking not, the whole time like, and I was like I, I don't want to pay see attention it. to this she was like no, no. I don't want to see yeah, because I really didn't want to be let in. So I, but I still somehow cr created a very specific notion of what I thought it was going to be. And it's about big it was spider. A I assume than that. Yeah, it's about a big spider. Daddy long legs. There's leg. so it's many about a daddy long legs. Spider. Long legs in this movie. Yeah, it's about. We did see spoiler. Everybody has normal length legs. <gasps> That, that is true? such Confirmed? a spoiler. That's something that you'll have to interpret for yourself. <gasps> yeah. Is that part Whoa. open to the audience? Oh, my God. Pretty I can't cool wait to see it. open ending. No, but it, it's 
a movie that had a lot of hype, and so I'm really interested to dive into it. I know Sydney also had big expectations. I'll probably have to. I'm. Ugh, I won't say anything. I'll wait. But I'll probably have to go see this movie by myself the next time. I can't imagine Taylor wanting to go do a repeat with me. Oh God, yeah, it is. Maybe I'll drag Lucy to go see it. <laughs> It's okay to see it by yourself. It's not that scary because, yeah, well, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're doing Long Legs next week. We're very I'm excited to dive into the brain of the son of Anthony Perkins. Oz Perkins. Oz Perkins. Oz Perkins. David from Legally Blonde. Blonde. Woo! He's a very accomplished man. Yes, we love him. But anyway, here's a great time to re- for me to remind you that we have to do the poll question. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. What should the full question be? <laughs> What's his have you, real first name? Have you ever won anything from a radio contest? What's the capital of Brazil? Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have known the capital of Brazil before we told, told you? you? <laughs> Don't lie. Are you a liar? Yes. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Nothing to do with the We're just trying we're just trying to learn about our listeners and see if they're telling the fucking truth. Is this all going, this is all going back to how she's losing or winning the poll about house arrest? If, if she wants to if know if you're the lying, you people the are poll. lying, that means we can't trust the results. <laughs> we need this data. We need this data. Don't you love this and how it's insane? There's more if you join our Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, if you join our Patreon and you support us, we can do more in-person shows because I can come out more yeah, often. Yeah, exactly. afford to fly out. Yeah. Yeah, join our Patreon and you Something can have to more consider. fucking insanity, in-person insanity. Yeah. You can also have access to the Discord, which is so much fun, and we have you a You can blast. find that message from Monica. Where mm. I don't say that, and <laughs> Chelsea, you can prove that I'm nice and Chelsea's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have to vote in that poll. We'll see, yeah, we'll see the results. She's going to do no with a winky face. I'll tell you that. And if you do our, our see you next Tuesday tier, you'll get in on exclusive content. Today I posted something without Chelsea's consent. And she <laughs> went ballistic. And then she watched it. And it was fine. That was fine. I would never do anything to harm us. <laughs> but there's some silly, silly stuff. Cat content is happening. Mm-hmm. Secrets. Sydney's new identity revealed Ooh. in the exclusive content. It's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot. Going I don't on. remember that. My body double. Yeah, your body double. Um, <laughs> man, yeah, the trailer reactions are super fun. Our next one's coming out on August first, so that's before this. No. When does this come out? Um, this yeah, that's before. August 6th. So, yeah, that's before It came this. out before. Oh, that's Taylor's this, birthday. The, our next one already came out. Our yeah. next one already came out. <laughs> so, we'll have so many. Great. And the one after that will be uh, Almost out. coming up soon. Yeah. But yeah, you want to watch it. Truth. It'll be great. So, go to patreon.com slash spooky underscore Tuesday. And why not follow us on social media? Oh, wait. Hold on. Also, give us a five-star review. And why not follow us on social <laughs> media? Yeah, do, do all these things, please. In the review, you could be like, are you guys okay? We did a lot of singing today. <laughs> Five stars for therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Five stars. I'm downloading Chelsea's album. I'm pre-saving on Spotify. <laughs> Five stars. And now I have all this recorded content of you singing. I'm remixing the I album did. now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. They're bumping that. And yeah, they're bumping that. It's Brett Summer. On social media <laughs> at spooky underscore Tuesday. It's what Charlie XCX would want you to do. Um, we're we're at spooky underscore Tuesday on everything. <laughs> Specifically, YouTube, where you will see us not be in completely costumes, insane, though. But in but person, touching each other. Sydney in, licked my face. Wow, that and I'll do it again. Wow, she did it without my permission. Oh, I saw that part. Yeah, she looked upset. And I'll do it again. I wasn't touched at all, and I just sat here by myself because I'm want me not to lick blonde. You? No, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Only into blonde licking. Yeah, blonde on blonde licking over here. 
Hot blood on blood licking. On the hot blood is gonna licking go in your the area. Clap, the closed <laughs> captions are going to go crazy for this on YouTube. That's our title. Hot blondes licking each other in your area. No, it's true. On the Bahamas. <laughs> Uh, we're also at Spooky Tuesday Pod on <laughs> Facebook and Tumblr. <laughs> and now we're going to be done. Oh, and go to SpookyTuesdayPod.com for yeah. website things and look at beautiful pictures of us. Yeah, we're real hot, as you can tell if you're watching mm-hmm. this. And at the end of the day, I have to say thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, Spookies. Woo! Spooky Tuesday was created by Monica Height. Sydney Thompson and Chelsea Duff, and edited by Sydney Thompson. Our gorgeously spooky tunes are all thanks to Tamara Simons, who you can follow on Instagram at great18. That's G R 818 underscore. And our podcast art is by Ryan Brom, who you can follow on Instagram at Ryan Brom Art. That's R Y A N B R O M M A R T. Learn more about Spooky Tuesday at SpookyTuesdayPod.com and subscribe to our Patreon at Patreon.com slash Spooky underscore Tuesday.